Hungry? What's next? Home. The storm is getting worse. I'll get them ready. Need help? I hope Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. He is. Quite sick, Atreus. I know, but he was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Hear that? Yes. Is it her? It is her. The state is not far. Oh! Not again. Get ready. Falcon! Give up that easy. What she? She never does. Stay alert. There she is. Uh, hey, mother. Uh, 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 let go of me. Uh, We've got you. Uh, We've got to get away from her. I'm trying. Up there. What she? Look out. Uh, the trees! They're coming down! That was too close. She's coming around again! I do not wish to fight you! I'm losing my grip here! Oh, father! I have you! Hold tight! Protection stave is near. Oh no! Freya, we're not your enemy! Freya, what? Please 
Please don't make me do this! <laughs> River Stave. We made it. Let us go home. It's Becky. It's Vana. Up. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimblewinter. It never stopped snowing after that day. Think it's ever gonna get better? Mm. Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I got it. I don't hear him. He always says hello. Atreus. Fenrir. You okay, boy? <laughs> it's okay, boy. You're okay. I know. I missed you, too. Where's your food? Still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. What? Too big? wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Sofna. Afra. Desu. 
stuff. It's on. Softener. 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 No. It's the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Training is all we ever do. Ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. We do not hide. We prepare for a fight for which we are not ready. We'll go. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother won. We do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Look, can I have a moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him? Well, I recognize that dour expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then.
Kratos? Are you joining me? Faye. Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grumbles. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Mm. Am I to decipher your grunting? Tell me your thoughts. We hunt the predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Shh. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? No, no, don't! <sighs> Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. A problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? Mm. Good boy. Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He cannot be far. This has not been opened. No prints this way either. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. He crawled through here. You seem troubled in your sleep. Even for you. Nightmares? I dream of the past. Almost every night. Ah. The bad old days? In Greece? No. It feels like Faye is trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No. But it is something more than memory. Hmm. Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. Loudnerman! And we're not alone. <laughs> Another raider to the left! 
left. Go. should check on the protection, Steve. There's a tree up ahead, yeah? Well? You were right. The stave is broken. Explains our trespassers. What happened here? Brother, back there. A dead animal. A struggle? We must find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding <laughs> raiders, he may have sought shelter. Follow the trail. We'll find him. Aha! Trails on the other side of that gap, if you can clear the way. Any idea what could have made the lad wander off? We argued. He accuses me of... hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of otherwise accurate predictions... I do not believe in prophecies. Well, good. And what do you believe about prophecy, Mimir? I'm skeptical by nature. Though we have seen things that defy explanation, so... Speaking as the smartest man alive, I have no bloody idea. Where's that trail gone? thinking, brother. But Atreus can handle himself. You've taught him well. So he keeps telling me. <laughs> Torches. And the trail leads into that cave. Well, we know where we are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. Or you could do that. Are these the raiders you rescued the wolves from? No. They have not been here long.
trail goes through here. Leads deeper in. There will be more. Well, someone got in the bear's way. Atreus, are you here? Perhaps Atreus came here seeking shelter, kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll give it that. You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. You know the lad. <laughs> Atreus, where are you? Atreus! 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 What? First, focus. Heal. What happened? You do not remember. I prayed Fenrir, and then I'm, I'm not sure. 
I was so sad. And then I was angry and scared. I remember running. There was a bear charging and I charged back. That had to be a dream. Your emotions, they transformed you. I, I, I didn't know I could do that. You did not do anything. They overcame you. That is why we must not abandon your training. We do not know the reach of your abilities. And they will be dangerous without discipline to control them. You've already taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. I might have killed you. Until you learn control, we will take no unnecessary risks. Inaction is also a risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! This way. So, are we going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah. Are we? Not now. We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that. Say the word, father. Another raider! To the left! So, lad, besides your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts, are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not really. What of Fenrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, I didn't. But I saw light. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Trick of Fimble Winter, perhaps. Seen my share. Oh, I recognize where we are now. What's with all the blood? Yours, Atreus. Seriously? That, or any prey you might have been dragging, I suppose. Not sure that makes me feel any better. This one.
didn't mean to. Intent does not matter. Only consequences. What? What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. been like this all night. They must have been inside the stave when I fixed it. <laughs> Atreus! I'm just checking on... To bed! Yes, sir. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. Though I admit it was a bit like old times there, for a moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us. If that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. Now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. Who was that? The ball. Come in. I have me. You would not find me good company. No. I'm sure we'll find lots to talk about.
could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you? A calm and reasonable person. If the moment calls for calm. I'd say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. You know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. And you're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you? Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for tear. Yeah, we know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tears old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe a word of you? What have your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? Don't take all day.
about time. I've been waiting for this. You're not from here. We got a tradition called blood payments. It means I get a piece of you for what you took from my family. You'll pick it up. That was for Balder. Now show me this god killer I've heard so much about. How were you ever a god of war? I did not seek that fight with your brother. <laughs> I don't care. You know my task. The ghost of Sparta thing. Yeah. Then you know what I'm capable of. Show me. Now we got us a fight! You insult me holding back like this! Was hoping to see your blade! Guess they don't come to his call! Stop holding back! That's for magic! Sorry about your statue, Tear, you preachy old stiff. If you're not fighting dirty, you're not fighting, right? Your son struck first! Good! That ain't how it works. You're a destroyer, like me. Oh no. I say when we're done. I'm not leaving till I see the real you. Get up! Afraid to get your hands dirty. Ah! 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 in fear of you. 
He died of the wounds you gave him! Oh, we got a model father here! This feels familiar. What? Don't matter. I can give a hot shit about your fatherly advice. I want to see the god of war! Sons fell to you. Even this lesser version of you. But I am not my sons. And your boy, all father, has plans for him. No! Consider your blood debt paid. Be seeing you. Told you he'd make it. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we? Oh, now. Odin is with Atreus. Oh no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on then. Ain't a long walk. Well, good to see you making new friends. Ain't that the old air pack a punch? You know we made that hammer, right? You have mentioned it. I know that. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. At least it was good to see the axe hold her own. Kind of the point, after all. <laughs> All set. This'll get you home. Hey, one last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection staves busted. Once you chase Odin off, you got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talking, fella. I will not abandon my home. Oh, yeah? And what's to stop the all fucker from spying on you? Or raven pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's what. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up in his place in a pinch. I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? What does he want? To, uh, pay for the roof. And... He 
invited me to Asgard. Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I, I told him no. Obviously. Searching for Tyr. If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth from me. I wanted to tell you. I really did, but now that you know, there's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin, or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. And I think I know how. Sir. Are you ready? Go. And keep the change, you bastard! going the old temple in the wildwoods why it'll be easier to explain once we're there you don't didn't say anything else while you were outside yeah he said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore that the Giants can keep their secrets he's averted Ragnarok his own way you think he knows all the Giants are dead I'm more concerned that it no longer <laughs> matters to him. what's he up to what happened here so close to home are raiders warring with one another now? Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. Almost to the bridge. Oh, yes, the bridge gave out. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, lad? I had dreams calling me here. <sighs> dreams. Whoa. That one's still alive. No. Look closer. Uh, hell Raiders now? Who's doing this? Suppose it's too much to hope that an enemy of theirs would be a friend of ours. Oh! Did have warn me? Nista! Seriously? Who'd be stringing up Raiders like that?
You see something down there? was that? Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh yeah, being all the way on guard. When did this bridge collapse? Oh, a while ago. Wasn't me. Temple now. Just need to find a way around. Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the giants and Loki? You mean to the old god of war in these lands? Who is dead. Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the giant's greatest ally. So... Enough. Uh, that pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. Hmm. <laughs> 
Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the Giants. So he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. Let me know. We'll see soon. Imagine what the lads found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Many dead here. We should keep on. It's too late. <laughs> Father, use your blades. Burn them. <laughs> Isn't it nice how Fimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. As if on cue. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Wonder who they mean. We climb. On it. Ah, he has gotten rather good at that. <sighs> Yet another grizzly scene. Find you, watch out! <laughs> I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one more. Oh no! Brother! A stalker! Lisa. On your guard, brother! I think we found our predator! No. 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 Your shield's busted, brother! Just keep your feet moving, yeah? I just bloody tears it. 
Thimble Winter Flare, the raiders Stornode and barging in, and now Stalker's playing in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. Father, the shield Mom gave you. Thor damaged it, but now... Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Come on, we can get in this way. Why are we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realized. Well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. Ah, things collapsing on a regular basis in these parts. Fimble Winter wears down all things, even stone. Watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait. Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati, the wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanahan. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is. 
but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Other shrines? How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned, but I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention black smoke and the bleeding earth. But we can never figure out exactly- We? Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It, it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding earth? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their mines did burst black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it, then. Tears and Svartalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine? So? What now? Home. <sighs> this way. Vlad, even if we consider looking for Tyr, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Huh. Ground looks kind of cracked there. Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. <laughs> Mimir, what did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. But he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? Without your shield! Find you! Incoming! Watch 
curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfon, then there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. We will go. Really? But... If we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search. For good. All right. You won't be sorry. Kratos! Over here! Sentry! I live and breed. Is that Atreus? It's been so long. <gasps> How you've grown. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned he needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <clears throat> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. As you can see, we've settled here in the Realm Between Realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimble Winter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. Your bedrooms are there. The kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's... What? It's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son disobey me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. Oh. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is it anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Well, come on, then. Let's get him something that fits, at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivanting. Begin with this. Hmm. Busted up good. Hm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is 
important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do. Kid's gonna insist on getting taller. Best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. Found some items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. I knew we'd left something behind. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Darlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader from New Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Atreus. All right, see you out there, Sindri. You hear that? We'll just need the Bifrost in the head, Brock. Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a sodding bastard! Ha, 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 ha. Open, open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. Ha, 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 
still unpleasant? Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Frostfolk of eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just <gasps> there. That should do it. <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Kratos, throw me at him. Horns first. <laughs> Case you takes a joke, you old goat. <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on. Let me show you how it works. Okay, aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck. Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck. Whoa, do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything, e everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Uh... Careful, lad. Ah! Why do these things so fast? <laughs> Left side! I see we're already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say... Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Uh, did you see that over there? That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. 
Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Trade Mars Brasser, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Brock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Dirty enough to climb? Aye. Good old dwarven craftsmanship. <gasps> Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. <laughs> 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 Impressive! Behind you! Look out! way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. <laughs> Think you can reach the wheel from here? Job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. so warm maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet but maybe it's just different in spartal farm i lad thimble winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way weird that thimble winter doesn't always make it winter in midgard it does but as you can see the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature observe the geysers 
observed the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new ex extremity to them. Find anything good up there? Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving. If the water doesn't reach. Froze one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? Continuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus. That is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. It 
seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. Nisa! It's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. <laughs> you did it! Let's see what it draw. <laughs> Father, up there. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Brother, that grim's found a perch on high! You can uncover that geyser from here. Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Nice one. That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes Atreus, are too? Look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellir, brothers. Hey! Towards. Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. I held that for us, though. They are scared. 
Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Can we talk we to you for a... any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or oh, for you. Sindri! Hello. I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. Taking advantage of certain material. Ow. Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Ah. Uh. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. 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 Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. Atreus, this way. Best of luck. It seems like me, the Valyr, is locked down because of us. Mm. Outsiders are not welcome here. I imagine that large statue of Odin has something to do with it. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards in the We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of, to keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery this for even way. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. 
<laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Durland's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Mamiya, why do the dwarves hate you? Oh, in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I helped build some mining rigs. What about them? They're a mistake of mine, from quite a long time ago. If you've got the time, I'd have us turn them off. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? So we're going to Durland's? Makes sense. We could always explore those mining rigs later. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Durlin. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here's a collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get? You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife.
Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. No, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. down directions the dwarf has given us a map sort of uh you smell him it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain ah tear derlin helped us anyway not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, 
Nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. Burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. True believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. Seems like we're here. Come on. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Special equipment to use this. A bomb. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Barry the Dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if... Address!
think that Drek is what killed the first one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there, I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. back on the track. <laughs> wow, this thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my life. Keep going. Hmm, hopefully that's it. We're so close, just a little to the left. That's way too far. Namir, tell him left. Hmm, hopefully that's it. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two, here we go. The Kraken Hatchling gave you a stone. Kraken? Oh, uh, Beaner. Yeah, it's covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh.
I can't believe we survived. Are you serious? Yeah. That was crazy. All of it. You said it, little brother. This place is incredible. The whetstone of the Night Ripper. When resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. No longer of use. But enough about you. I'm talking about the whetstone. So, quite the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. on the ground. Tracks. These must lead into the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo. Hey, looks like you stopped the water flow on that trough. That's it. Let's head across. Another Nornir chest. Hi. Ah, no seals to destroy or bells to ring. Good bet there's a couple more near here. Let's find him, yeah? I might be able to get up there if you help me. Great! 
I'll head across for a better look. Father, there's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. That was close. Try again. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Atreus. I hope you can make that jump. It's another one of those wooden troughs. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Aye. Might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get the wet stuff to do it for you? Tears here. Atreus, we seek information. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet you do not say otherwise. Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? on your side. I will lift on mine. Heavier than I thought. Mm. Thanks. Let's keep moving. Ah. Maybe you can hit it from a different angle. Like we found Darlin's mine entrance. Got something else for you. Sindri! What is it? Since you're currently lacking a light source, sorry, and have no way of seeing exactly what untold horrors lurk in the dark, these will help. Okay, back to your exploring now. Off with you. Thanks, Sindri. Hey, wait, what do you mean by untold horrors? Look out! The oh, That grim's my defense on high! Intriguing. However, we're ill-equipped to do anything with it right now. Look out! Watch your right! Well, looks like the official entrance to the mine is blocked. But there's got to be another way. This way. 
Nice. Not a dead end. Come on, let's see where this goes. Ugh, these guys again? Got him! Where are they all coming from? I think I can hear the water, too. Slow down, Atreus. Take care. Be ready. So, I think I found where those wretches were coming from. They will overwhelm you quickly. Stay close! Behind you! Look at him! They just keep coming! It's a bear trap! Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow! For her, it will be so! Right behind! <laughs> She's dead. That'll take care of the rest of these things. That's all of them. Ugh. The smell these things leave behind is so gross. A small consequence for disturbing the home. Let's keep moving. I'm sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff, and I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. We do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell a whole story. There's a the door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. He's gotta be close. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. Another door. We'll have to check that one too. Bird's instructions do not say which one. Nope. We're on our own here. Your question from before, about my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time. There are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of tear? <laughs> As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No. I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. I don't know. The water looks pretty clear here. Keyword, Lux. That belonged to one of the rebels, didn't it? Poor souls. Fighting the ace here is a thankless job, as you well know. What can I make for you? By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting.
I'll disinfect my tools. This axe just keeps getting stronger. You okay? Or deep in thought? I'll leave you to it. Fire's actually a disinfectant, so these are very hygienic. Till we meet again! Look, there's a door just across this gap. Tear could be right there. Whoever wrote this certainly had an eye for detail. Water flows blocked. Sounds like you got the water moving along, brother. What next? Oh, water's overflowing where you froze that trough. That's helpful. That worked. Let's get to the door. Come on. Well, I certainly don't think this is where Tyr currently is. He, he's got to be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're... Ahem. Brothers, with Thimble Winter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Across the way, there's another door. Maybe that's the one. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. Huh. Glad we explored. <laughs> How many doors are there down here? Not to be discouraging, but it is a mine after all. Namir, that is discouraging. Uh, did you see that over there? There's a broken door up to the left behind this crane. Maybe Tyr tried to escape. We should look.
locked up. Your camp is far. I think that should keep the lift fully powered up. We're almost there. That sounded like it wasn't quite right there, brother. Another door! Let's beat these guys and check there! <sighs> now, shall we? I think we can go this way. A statue. Made for the Aesir. Indeed. And then stolen by Ulf, Yolf, the thief. New exercise. Let's think about how Tyr's probably feeling locked up in this mine. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list. But I would just want to fight something. Anything. 
Even if it was just to know, I still could. Here? Whoa, what happened here? Here. Best look around. This dwarf, is that a relic? Huh. Another empty vault. Ahem. Little brother, perhaps it's time no, we... No, don't even say it. We're gonna find him. <clears throat> Look, another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. above where we got off the boat by Sindri. This mine is one enormous spiral. What happened? Why didn't that work? The chain is blocked. Should be clear now. Ready when you are.
A statue. Not just any statue. That stony visage hung over the entrance to the World Mill, built by Durin the Generous. Bloody Draugr holes! We've got to clear out all these undead bastards! <laughs> 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 Dead end. Where could he be? Atreus, this mine is largely abandoned. It is unlikely. Here, here. I know it. Derlin's direction stopped at the entrance to the mine. We just have to keep searching until we find him. You said you'd follow my lead, and I say we keep looking. So knock it off. Watch yourself. I will follow, but I state what I see. You did not agree with me, but you will not speak to me this way. Are we clear? Sir. One more door. That one has to be it. We will see. Seems like we'll have to get to it first. We <laughs> used water to power the wheels before. Worth a try. Well, that didn't quite work. Something else we can do? Let's keep looking around. There's gotta be something else. Climb across. Look for another way. I think I see a crank over here. Atreus, another mental exercise. Would one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, have any desire to prove themselves? The proof leaves a wake of destruction. But if the wake of destruction is a bunch of bad guys, why does that matter? You're strong, and you did the right thing. War does not measure the strength of a man. I hope one day you understand. That's 
That's gotta be it. We still have to go back and check out that last door, right? I'll telegram to be still. <laughs> Looks familiar. We're back in the spiral section of the mine. Do you hear that, brothers? I don't think we're alone. Ears open. Eyes up. It came from over here. There's a passage leading out. Atreus, do my words irritate you? It's fine. I get it. Brothers! Wait! Is that light up ahead there? Hey, this might be it. That door's bar. They must be trying to keep something in. You don't lock a door like that to secure the stair bed post. I see what we must do. The offer! in there. This has to be it. Back to it then. Trickery is this Odin. What game do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys.
those plates. I know you. God killer. Have you come for me now? Only to free you. Stay away. Brother, let me try. Tear. Tear. Look, you know me, don't you? You... You killed Mimir! No! No, 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 no! Yeah, we, we brought him right back! Yeah, stay away from me, you monsters! Stop! We need him! Wait! around a bunch, aren't I? Find your son. Dear, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Just leave me alone. Dear, listen, I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get, get you away out. From me, please. Take you somewhere safe, I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You... Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the Giants. We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? Here, your statue in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. Oh. The kind 
thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. I, uh... I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. Can you feel that? A wind. Blowing from over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Are there names by which I should call you? I'm Atreus. You already know Amir. And that's my father, Kratos. How does the son of a Spartan come to speak with Yotnar? My mother was the last giant in Midgard. Laufe? Laufe. I remember that name. She tried to help people, too. She's in the light of Alphon now. You have my sympathies. These are just much stronger when you're not sitting down. Please, let me get that. It's the least I can do. Whoa! Why risk Odin's wrath to free me? Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... Sotia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Namir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment, execrable torture at the hands of the Old Father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view was a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to... well, that. Highly pleasant. For all parties involved. Ah! You okay? The light. It's... It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. You said Ragnarok is coming. Which means Baldur... Baldur is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos and... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Amir, speak of Baldur. I was getting Watch to that. that. No. no, 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 no. It's okay. Left side, brother. attack. You should have taken the spear. Defended yourself. No. I've abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. Before we go any further, 
the truth. What is it you want from me? You speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me. That I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war, or worse yet, lead you to it, then kill me now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tier we need. We need you. All right. All I ask is for a good night's rest and maybe some food. I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner. Brother, perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? <sighs> The sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Balder tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the giants are all gone. And how they called me Loki. And finding the shrines... The giants are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all... dead. Dead? Do you think Odin... We do not know. Seal. It's been too long. I had forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are... were... very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. Tree house. Lord Tear, you're really alive. Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. <laughs> I'll be. So, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. Hold still. Hold still. Yep. Oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, Tear. I'm gonna turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tear. Sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. 
Hey! Come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for his safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. Expect too much. Aye, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No, I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh! You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just. Wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead, so it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, you know where Freya is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first. And then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? Glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. That's all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always... very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay. Well, a lot's kinda happened, and I need answers. <gasps> A chest. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! So, what's been going on? So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died. But I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Accidental magic's not all. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber. Yeah, and I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. 
she could help me. But not giant. Fine. You do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. Yeah. Venomous? Shoot the barrel. It's got soundstone on it, too. Yes! Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. It's blocked. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. Looks dwarven. It is soundstone, but the path's still blocked. And I don't see any more on this side. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. <laughs> Looks like there's something hidden by the horsemen. If only I had a way to burn this. Yes. If only your father were here. That's not what I said. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Well, don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? So, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thor a blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching. Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. Okay. Here goes nothing! A little help would be nice. Uh, okay, right. I'll just... That's a quality craftsmanship! Gotcha! Take this, you dirty pile of rocks! Ah, don't touch me! Wow, Sindri, harsh words. I'm not sure he'll recover. Shut up. Do you want my help or not? All right, all right. Up, up. Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. Shoot. I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? There! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. Keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. 
Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your Senu. That's not weird at all. Talk. <coughs> Ironwood. What do you think it means? It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. The door's frozen. Maybe I can... Would you just let me do it? Is that frozen lightning? Yep. Want a closer look? So what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. I'm not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. Jump up! 
Well, that's quite enough excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. Oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. Hi. Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Bessel, I wish it did. See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Hit the fire, Hawk! Please. Just keep going. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living! Living is an option. Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Need to destroy the sonic piece first. All right, I just need to get a different angle on the sound. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. <clears throat> Maybe if you listen to me... Could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Oh! 
is going up. Wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? Going the right way. Really wish I had a compass. The offer. Shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Is that you up there? Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. You do have doubts. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. Yep, that's the door. <gasps> hey, Freya. What, can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. She probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? 
the arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh, I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. Stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What Smash. makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? If you mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to <clears throat> Odin, nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. <laughs> Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecies, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, you learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I, I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him... Here is alive? Yeah. We... we broke him out of Svartalfheim. Impossible! The Nine Realms are closed to all! No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father.
Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit to Sindri. <laughs> Good thing I like climbing. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think... Sindri, I told you. I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking, and I, uh... Got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Jumper! I still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. <laughs> Nightmares! I'm gonna be sick! Gotcha! I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way! He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Wow. Do they ever quit? Uh, nightmare! Okay, back to Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock... died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating for me lately. Really? Now? Yapa! You have to tell him. He has a right to know. Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. <clears throat> so I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. 
Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to- Now hang on, little Yoten. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe, but Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back, and you just act natural, but quickly. Ah. Enough to risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peen? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Uh. Atreus, who are planning our next move? Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim, home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are. Seeking information. The Shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the Seer who saw everything? Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hmm. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So... Where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a lost step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of her talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend.
And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight. And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Yggdrasil seat for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Ratatoskr, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Ratatoskr. The one you know as Ratatoskr is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Ooh. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. <sighs> ah! So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure, I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. I had tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky high stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seemed better in Alphonse. <laughs> Did they now? Alphine. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. 
I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. <laughs> Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. <laughs> a rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? <laughs> Occasion. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. It's gonna explode! Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Oh! <laughs> Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Hey, Alpha. <laughs> Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. <laughs> so your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. What? So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good. I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, 
Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try... Yeah, yeah! And Tyr, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war. Before they discovered the power. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's the light. Uh, oh. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They Thanks may. just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <clears throat> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure <laughs> some architecture. This way, try to wait. <laughs> Temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light itself. Aye. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert <gasps> withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Another of Cavassier's poems.
Gotta be a better angle on that fire. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. Give him what for? At least I tried. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Sure made a lot of these light doors. <laughs> Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. There's gotta be a way to get your axe behind this crate, right? Back to it then. Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes? More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Kvasia. I suppose I'll leave you to it then. Oh! 
on the other side. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. We can continue up this way. They come. Do what you must. Maybe you can throw those back at him. Find you. out how they're making light bridges look at this statue these crystals i've noticed them on the elves as well oh the crystals don't make light bridges now the light helps wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Nords, nor do I wish to try. And here we go again. <laughs> Oh! 
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. But I'll find perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path, regardless of where they end. On the wing. The shield moved. That looks right. Here, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Svart. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. You still hear something wounded out there, Trey. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. Maybe if we... Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Ah, oh, the light of Alfheim. How stunning. Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time. But I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When father went inside the light, he said he- went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, 
Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. <laughs> there it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. <laughs> Appreciate it. What can I make for you? be my best piece yet today. I'll take him. I'll disinfect my tools. And Atreus? Mm -hmm. 
Kratos? A good fit. Have we more to talk about? The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be me you assume too much aye best not to read into these abstractions so literally prophecies are slippery by nature although some are more obvious than others ragnarok aye the end of everything so this is it there's nothing we can do to stop it there must be a way why else is this hidden look here this is what we saw it's you Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. Time. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. <gasps> Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. <laughs> Ah! Go! 
now before more arrive. Up. Think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. This way. What are those bombs? Careful! Far from over.
I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice! I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Forward! Hold on! Over here! You're chained! Hey, Tyr? Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. A dark elf assault. How fortuitous! <laughs> Fighting hell. Can they just leave us alone? It's done. Come. We need to get out of here. Through here! Watch out! Left side! <laughs> Do not move! Oh. 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 
behind you! Incoming! Behind you! Incoming! Father, this way. Let's keep moving. Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Here. We open the gateway, please. You want war, Atreus. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. suppose the desert will keep. Well, I hope Tyr's had enough time to find his equilibrium or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. 
if you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? <laughs> a magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Now, what else might there be to discuss? Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I'm counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... To use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that... You <gasps> are Atreus. My son. And nothing more. I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... <sighs> Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Artie. Already gone.
butt hurt. I wish I had known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories, and not nice ones. You broke the gate. That was our only way to Yonhan. What do you want? Let's go, Druma. I don't understand. Whatever. 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 Hey! Whatever. Don't run Whatever. off! Whatever. Can you tell me Whatever. where I Whatever. am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? I gotta get out of here. Okay. He should pay for what he said about mother. But we're gods. We can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Why is this happening? This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop. Where are you going? <coughs> Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. Ooh. Where am I? Can you understand me? Oh. Hi there. So, where are we going? <coughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? <coughs> Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. <coughs> scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. <laughs> you tell me if you were going to eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? I, 
I've never seen a forest like this before. Through here? I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> ah! The pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, well, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angraboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, Loki. R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Thola. I'll, uh, take my own path. <laughs> so, where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. Oh, and... I've heard the Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. <gasps> so, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. Or called it. What's that? A brooch. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants weren't all supposed to be... giant. <sighs> so, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. <laughs> Watch, Watch out! out! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I 
I've ever seen someone fight a Draugr that... Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So, what were you doing before you came here? Surviving Fimble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. I'll be up above you, but keep going the way you're going. <sighs> Is that chainmail? I wonder what Brock and Cindy would think of that. Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? <laughs> you get guard giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. Can't believe there are nightmares here, too. Something my father. You know what? Never mind. going the right way? Oh, yeah, totally. Got him! How are you doing? I'm great. I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... Guess I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they? Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. Okay. I'm sorry.
Whoa. That's Evie's medallion. Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Ah, uh, okay! I can slow down! Before. Well, then you should know how to beat them. It's usually not so lively around here. Guess I'm just lucky. Nah, you're just Loki. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Got him. my mom's shrines where she chronicled Groa's visions. It was her way of ensuring the legacy of our people would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts. Where do we go now? Here. Oh. Isn't that Vanya magic? Where do you think they learned it from? Here we are. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. This way. Wait, is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Before, where we scattered Mother's ashes. It was on the wall. Everything had happened already, just the way it said. But this part was damaged. Oh, that's us. It's in the bag. Huh. Wonder who he is. Wait. No, no, it's not right. That can't be what happens. No, 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 this isn't real. Ironwood's not real, the Utengar's not real. None of this is real. Ah! Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, you're okay. You're okay. Hey, it's all alright. It'll be okay. Look at me. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, calm down. Calm down. It's fine. Just breathe. Hey. Hey, breathe. Good. That's good. See, it's okay. Let go. Come on back. Mm -hmm. 
It's okay. You're fine. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. No, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone. That happens to everyone? Not the wolf part, but getting scared about your future. That cannot be my future. It says I serve Odin and my father dies. There's just no way. Look, this is the only way things turn out. The sooner you accept that, the better. Oh, shit. That was mean, too. Look. Just forget about that now. Forget the future. Forget Loki. You're a giant. And... You're clearly coming into some powers that you don't understand yet. Come on, let's take a walk. You can help me with something and I'll teach you. You know, giant stuff. Come on. Loki, I need your help with this. What's this? Here, follow me. Where are we going? We're gonna get some food, plant some seeds, my everyday stuff. But first, I want you to meet someone. Loki, meet Yala. Hi, Yala. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, wow. She... she's a big girl, huh? Come on up. Good girl. Ganga. So, um... I guess you know about the whole champion of the... Jotnar? Yeah. Do you want me to call you that instead? No. Loki's good. Sure. Champ. <laughs> so, where did you say we were going? We need to collect some fruit. If we follow the river, we should find some. Those flowers over there. Silence. I... Okay. <laughs> no, that's what they're called. They only grow in Jotunheim. My mother and I used to take naps in them when my grandma and her fought. It was one of the only places she found peace. Aha! Here's one. Let's grab it. Who's it for? Wolves gotta eat, don't they? Never seen fruit like this before. They're called green bulbs. My mother made me eat one every day. For strength, they taste terrible. Seems like they work, though. Excuse me? It sounds like she likes you. Yeah, sure. Could you grab that one? Got it. Those wolves. You take care of them? I do. They're good friends. Can't wait to meet more of them. How many more of these fruits do you need? You in a hurry to leave? No, I just gotta save my father's life now, apparently. Loki, we have time. I see some fruit up there. Then we should be up there, too. Oop. Wait, were you talking to me or the yak? <laughs> Let me help. Thanks. 
You're welcome. After you. Listen, I know we're out here having fun and all, but maybe we should talk about what you saw in the mural. What I saw would never happen. I wouldn't join Odin if it cost me my father. If I learned anything from my mother, it was that these things have a way of coming true, one way or another. I learned from my father, too. Close your heart to it. But I can't. Not for this. <gasps> can't reach it. You know, I may have thought about going to Asgard, but I'd never do it. Yeah? My father wasn't helping me figure out my destiny. But when Odin and I were alone, he offered to teach me. If you were alone with Odin, he could have easily killed you. I mean, not that easily. Taka Upandun. More fruit. We don't need it, but we can grab it anyway. How do you know when it's ripe? My parents taught me. It's a delicate guessing game. So you can't be sure of everything that's gonna happen then? I'm sure of the big stuff. Oh, Yala can't get under that log. That should do it. Getting these ingredients, feeding your animals. You do this every day? If I don't, they'll die. Just seems like a lot for someone your age. Our age. Uh, right. One of the last conversations I had with my father, he said he was sorry he couldn't protect me, that I'd have to grow up so fast. At least you got an apology. Dads have a way with words, huh? No, maybe Odin needs you for something. Or maybe it's not what it looks like. Maybe I'm tricking Odin. Oh, is trickery something you're good at? I lied to my dad a couple times. Oh, a master of deception. Green bulbs go here in this bucket. Hey, if I need to, like, fix my bow or something, can I? Of course. I've got supplies in my tool chest over there. By the way, I left something in the tool chest for you. I'll meet you over by Yala when you want to leave. Is it okay to hang out around here? As long as you want. Hey, what's this one? I painted that one with grandmother. Wasn't as good back then. And Gubauda, earlier you said... The Uden Guard can be disorienting. But what is it? Hmm. You know Amir? The first of our people. He died a long time ago, right? Odin killed him. Yes. Odin destroyed everything that remained of him, save for one thing. His dreams. Odin couldn't touch those if he tried. And they are ours.
Nice. Is that another one of your paintings? It's pretty good. Nah, not my best. I could do better. Well, I like it. Only three colors? Where are the rest? That's all I need. I mix them to make the rest. What's next? Well, now's when I usually harvest the beast roots I mix with them. I mean, unless you still want to leave. No, I can stay. I want to stay. You know, I paint too. Well, I draw. What do you draw? All kinds of things. Monsters, artifacts, anything Father and I encounter on our journeys. Oh, is your father an artist too? <laughs> no. There are some roots up this way. Easy, girl. You've got this. Do you have any animals that could maybe, uh, go faster? No offense, Yala. Of course I do. They just can't carry both of us. This is much easier. Hmm. Got it. I've got this one. There's another up the path. Just take only what you need. See? You won't need that. The roots snap pretty easily. There. Just take a little off. A good twist ought to do it. Like that? Exactly. We're coming! We're coming! There's more roots this way. She really doesn't like me, huh? She does. It's just, apart from me, the only other person she spent time with is... Drug! On the ridge! Loki, show me the wolf. That's it. You got this. I've got this. weird when I change. Like, I'm not in control. Do you need to be? Well, at least there's some roots down here. Grab them while we look for a way out. No knife, remember? Oh, yeah. Guess it isn't a total loss. I don't pull up roots for a little bit. <laughs> it wasn't you. Hey, looks like they opened up a path over there. Let's catch up with Yala before more of them show up. Yada! Yo, 
you're okay. But what about you, Loki? What do you feel when you change? Just... anger. A part of you unleash the wolf with that anger. Maybe you just need to find the part that will guide it? How? You can fight with all sorts of emotion in your heart, not just rage. If rage lets it out, another might help you stay you. <laughs> you enjoyed that, didn't you? Maybe. Home again. Yeah. Let's drop off these roots in the bucket up on the left here. Then, I've got one last thing to show you. You okay? Yeah, just... We should head back toward the water. This way. Is it all right if we stick around longer? Might wanna, you know, repair some stuff. Yes. Are there any animals you can turn into? Not yet. But for you, that might be a god thing and not a giant thing. Oh. Thanks for rubbing it in, though. Sorry. Joking. Through the tunnel on the right, Yala. That's where we're headed. Huh. Head end. So. I really like that spell. It hides this place perfectly. Maybe that's why I couldn't sense any other giants when Father and I visited. So, what's that soul in your knife? The what? The... There's, there's a soul inside your knife. Did you not know that? No. Whose soul? You know, maybe you should keep it where it is until you figure that out. How did... I don't just go around stealing people's souls. Yala usually takes a while to get around. What you doing? Clears my mind. I try to see how many bounces I can get. You wanna try? Looks easy enough. Oh. <laughs> a little help? No, I, I think I got it. How about, uh, one. <laughs> oh, you're laughing at me now. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm you're not? Laughing at the situation. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, well, I might need a little help. You'll get it. Throw it flatter. It's all about timing. When you release the rock. All right. Watch this. Ah! Yeah. But under your control. That didn't count, by the way. My last throw. Oh, it counts. A trogger came out of the water. Excuses. We can always try again later.
Where are we going now? I have something for you. A gift, I guess? Should I be scared? No. Uh, I, uh, don't have anything for you. Can I ask you something? Of course. Are you, are we the only giants left? Sort of. It's complicated. I want to know. It'll be much easier to just show you. I promise. Well, what about my prophecy then? If it is true, what do you think I should do? Doesn't matter. There's no changing where you end up. You can try whatever you want to avoid it, but it'll happen anyway. You're telling me nobody has ever changed their fate? Ever? I mean, sure, maybe some details change, but the end point remains the same. It's better to walk your path than to struggle against it. Ugh. What's that? A lift. We'll have to leave Yala for a bit. We're heading upward. Bara. This, um, gift doesn't seem like something you're excited about. It just means we're coming up to the end. What does that mean? You'll understand once we get there. Now, time to hold up my end of the prophecy. Follow me. Stop up! We're coming up on the Valley of the Fallen. What happened to them? They were tired of living in fear of Asgard, so they hid. Left a pile of corpses to confuse Odin, should he ever find a way into Jotunheim. Where'd they hide? You'll see. <laughs> I got it.
Oh, more marbles. Wait, you've seen these before? Not these, but I found a few in Midgar. Where? Inside your mother's murals. <laughs> oh, but that's... There are more out there. What are they? Just look. The Yahtzee. Crowther? Hey, careful. Borrow. Giants. These belong to the giants? These are the giants. They had a choice. They could stay in Jotunheim, waiting for Odin to find a way in to slaughter them. Or they could hide. My father helped whisper their souls into these. And before he died, he passed them on to me. It's within these. They found peace. How they are your responsibility. Are you sure? Well, that's what my mother saw. We're supposed to know what to do with them when the time comes. And when's that? I don't know. Let's head back. This is a lot of responsibility. It is. And it's all yours. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm done. I guess. Now that I've given you those, my part in all this is over. Y you could always come with me. We could fight Odin together. If I was supposed to fight alongside you, I wouldn't disappear from your damn mural halfway through. I understand. Well, we shouldn't break up the set. Don't you think? Let's keep walking. Huh. Tallest peak in the realms. The only other time I was in Jotunheim, I was there with my father. You know the giant's fingers? I spread my mom's ashes there. Feels like ages ago. Hey, just because of some dumb mural, your story doesn't have to be over. I know. I mean, I have plans. It's just, it's over as far as the giants are concerned. So what's that make me? A friend? <sighs> Wait, did you feel that? Feel what? Help me with this. We should get back to Yala. Something feels off. <laughs> Yala? Uh, Anger Boda, could you help? Is she okay? Uh oh. Loki, what's happening? It's okay. I can handle it. Go check on Yala.
Kubota! Where'd you go? Hello? Up here. Y'all okay? Yeah, she was fine. Sorry about that. So, uh, these marbles, they're all that remains of the giants? Not all of them. Some are just missing. But where could they be? Nowhere in the Nine Realms, as far as anyone can tell. Bara. Past those rocks, there's a sinkhole. That's where we're headed. We should... Something on your mind? Nobody believed this place was real. They're gonna be so surprised. Loki, you can't tell anyone about Ironwood. Not even your father. The biggest thing keeping this place safe is that Odin's not looking for it. My wards can keep the wildlife at bay, but if Asgard ever came looking... I get it. I'm sorry. I won't tell anyone. Thola. At noon, we have company. Oh, hi. <laughs> Bye. <gasps> Is there a wolf you'll feed this green bulb to? <laughs> Whoever wants it. But maybe Irpa will get it first. Watch the sinkhole coming up. Lots of creatures in it. Used to get a lot of supplies for paint down there. Yeah? We should run them out. Your paint supplies are important. If that's what you want to do. Uh, sure. Why not? Me <laughs> Perfect. Hey. Hey, I, uh... Killed a flower? Oh, I... It's a gift. Thanks, but, uh... You keep it. Anyway, we're looking for wretch nests. Those will give me the supplies I need, so keep an eye out. <laughs> it's so dark down here. Let me fix that. Wretches! A nest of them! They're everywhere down here! Stop them! That's it! Gotcha! Light more torches, we'll be able to see, clear them out, and grab what I need from them. Let's do it. You lead, I'll light the torches. Whoosh. Got another one. Let me know if you see any more torches. I'll light them so we can keep moving. <laughs> It's so much cooler down here. You should visit Midgard. I used to be so. Be careful. These nests aren't just down here. They can be up on higher paths. Got it. The Alpha!
I have an idea. What if you came with me? Where? Midgard? The other realms? Anywhere. I don't think that's a good idea. My animals need me, but it's sweet of you to offer. I think there's another one nearby. Be many left. How you doing, Jim? <laughs> Smells kind of funky. Like old water. This will help. Shuraka! That's all of them. Thanks. Feeling any better? A bit. Let's head back. Hard not to get lost in here, right? Yeah, we're fine. We got this. Ready to be out of here. Ah, let's head home. You know, I thought learning my destiny would change something, but I'm still just me. Yep. Was it like that for you? You're always still going to be you, Loki. It's about coming to terms with it. And you've come to terms with it? I thought so. Back the way we came? Nah, head around the sinkhole. It'll be quicker. Oh. 
Oh, I meant to ask you. Your mother had visions. Can all giants tell the future? Some. In dreams. Hey, yeah. I dreamt of Thor a while ago. Thor? Came true, too. He showed up at my house. He did? Sounds kind of like a nightmare. Yeah, kind of. What are those? Fireflies? Are they dangerous? <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> kind of nice. Yeah. Perfect timing. For what? Oh, wow. I know things have been weird in a lot of ways, but I'm glad you came here. Me too. So now that I know how to get back here, I could come back anytime I wanted, right? When? I don't know. After things calm down. As in, after Ragnarok? Yeah. Sure. I don't think I'll be busy then. Come on, girl. You can make it. What's up here? A shortcut. <clears throat> Good girl. You can do it, Yala. I believe in you. Let's give Yala a break. I meant what I said before. You know? About your paintings. They're really good. Are you trying to cheer me up? Yeah. Is it working? Ask me again and... Oh, damn time. Shut up. Too late to whine now. Now. Who was that? Kryla. She... <laughs> What's wrong with it? I can't... feel anything. <laughs> There's nothing to feel. Carla whispered its soul away. You know where she lives? What are you gonna do? I've buried enough wolves this winter. Follow me. Got that.
in, Degryla. Please don't do anything drastic. Why? She's my grandmother. What? She wasn't always like this. When she learned my father wouldn't do anything to avert his fate, she changed. I see. Looks like we'll need to find a way through. Careful. Can you see anything on the other side? Looking. Thanks. Let's keep going. A lot of giants live here, over time. You want to know about your mother? She lived this entire life before she had me. But I don't know anything about it. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know anything about her. Your mother left the path of the giants way before I was born. <clears throat> Lata, go! This is Gryla's home. No lights. She may still be checking her traps, but she might have more animals inside. We have to be quick. There's another way in, up there. We'll have to figure out how to get to it. Maybe there's a way up on the other side, but I won't be able to get across. Create a way up for you. So, Gryla, what does she need animal souls for anyway? She can live moments from their lives. Finally feel free. The wind in their fur as they run. Their only worries being what to hunt and where to sleep. But it's not real. Oh. Uh, sh shh. <sighs> Gryla's still out. Wow, the things are so big. Where's the wolf? There's a door to the cellar over here. She might keep the animals down there. The key's already in the lock. Just gotta turn it. Loki. Hey, we know my future, and it doesn't involve us getting killed by your grandma. Not how it works. <sighs> Almost. Got it. I think I can hear something. 
something breathing near the back of the cellar. Me too. But I'm not hearing their voice. I can't feel anything, just like the other one. She took it, soul. There's not much more we can do. Hold this. What are you? You didn't have a least favorite giant, did you? What? Never mind. This one. No. You can't. Your mother said I'd know what to do with these. Yes, eventually. I just gave them to you. I know. But... You can't hide forever. Right? And we can't just leave it here to die. Are you sure? No. I actually don't know how to do this part. Okay. Together, then? Hmm. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's it? Where's it going? Did that even work? I don't know. Here. But you're giving up already? They're your responsibility. It's not that. It's not. I just... think they're better off with you. Loki, are you certain? Call me Atreus. Okay. Let's get back. Head up those stairs again. I'm sorry, I just... We'll have to get out the same way we came in. She can't know we were here. And we better put that cup back when we get to it. We have to close the door. I've got it.
remember in a moment. She's going to kill him. No, because we are going to stop her. I've avoided this for too long. She's not well. Mm. You know, you should be thanking me. What good does a soul do anybody? It's just a vessel for pain. I damn near envy you. Okay, the cauldron. Without it, she'll have no use for the souls. I'll distract her. You free the wolf. Then we break the cauldron. You sure? No. But we can't hide forever. Go. I told you never to come back here! That's right, look at me! So many things I've forgotten. And you refuse to be one of them! It doesn't have to be this way. If Ragnarok is coming, wouldn't you rather face it together? What does destiny ever do for anybody? Look at your mom's destiny to grow so young. It's a father's destiny to marry that destiny. Oh, for Ah! You broad of prey! Loki! Loki! Get out of my house! Through here, follow me. This way. That's right. Run! Up this way. There's a way back to her kitchen. Where are you? You sure you want to go back there? I told you, we have to. I can hear you. Over there. Got to destroy that cauldron. Where? Can you swing across? Hmm? You hiding? You should have stayed in the cave. <laughs> Away from that! <laughs> this has been of the youth, Nard. Here in my humble home. Having a bit of fun before your father broke. Eh? Don't talk about my father! You have to hit the runes on the cauldron! You'll do well as Odin's stable. Shut up! I'm sure he'll make such a fine pop, you'll forget all about your old one. Shut up! Soul team. Oh, now's your chance! Get to that cauldron! Why are you even here? No! Get away! Uh, gotta get off the floor. You're pitiful giants! The both of you! There's a candle over there! Maybe she'll get stunned if I hit it! She's stunned! Now hit the cauldron! Spring gun! I'm ashamed we're even related, girl! You don't mean that! Get away from me! Spring on the Sangur! You won't destroy it! Why are you so bent on hurting me like this, girl? I've done nothing to you! You can't keep stealing so they're just animals! Leave me alone! She's done! This is all I've got! Hey, you go to watch out! 
Get off the counter! Eat for the cauldron! What did I ever do to you? Shoot those before they hit you! It's good to sell our magic! <laughs> you to the wolves right after I pulled you out of your mother. Get out! Just... Get out! No. Oh. Let's go. Oh. You think you've done something here, granddaughter? You are nothing and no one will ever remember you not even loki you'll just be a forgotten chapter in his story he'll be too busy mourning his father i see you again you'll wish you died with your parents You sure it's all right to leave her here? What if she comes out looking for... She used to leave me food? What? She'd say she didn't care about me, but... Sometimes I'd wake up and... I'd see a loaf of bread sitting next to the fire. Just baked just the way she always used to. She's not a monster, you know? She's lost. You wanna walk? Longer than you think. Anchor Boda. It's fine. This was a long time coming. We'll be back once we reach the other side of this path. Well, then, that's two out of three. <sighs> Atreus. Race me. Come on. I see what you're doing. You know you want a rematch after and last time. I appreciate. Um, last time. I beat you. I'm pretty sure it was a tie. Pretty sure it wasn't. So prove me wrong. One, two, three, go! Fine. You coming or what? Go, go, go! Fox? Oh, no, you don't! Watch the turn here! <laughs> No idea what you're saying. This field always smells so amazing. <laughs> I assume her nose is much better like this. Don't get too distracted. Oh, come on. You're not getting tired now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you 
don't. <laughs> Whoa! Asa! Master! We got him now! Whoa! Those pods can only carry you so far. <laughs> Almost there! Oops! <laughs> you really made me work for it. Work for it? He rode a magic fox the whole way. Loki, or er, Atreus, thank you. I'm sorry she was so hard on you. Me too. Well, I suppose you're ready to get home now. I'll meet you by the shrine when you're ready. Do I have to leave? Not if you don't want to. Your prophecy was less clear on when you have to go. <sighs> My prophecy. You still don't believe it, do you? I can't. You think I'm being stupid? I think. You care for your dad so much, you can't conceive of a world where you let him get hurt. Come here. I need to show you something. <laughs> Laufei? My mother's? I wish it weren't empty, but... I know how it feels... to lose a parent... to lose both. Your mother may be gone, but your father... you've still got time... to say goodbye. I know what you're trying to say. And I appreciate it. I do. But... I don't know. We've got to be more than a bunch of stories with our endings already written. What happens to you now? I don't know. Like I said, once you're gone, my part in this is over. So, you know, feel free to stay. I think your part is as big as you want it to be. What are you gonna do? No idea. But I can't just sit back and let my dad die. I gotta get back. Okay. Huh. The stars here are different. No. You just are. I am gonna see you again. <laughs> sure. Okay, now. Close your eyes. And hold that tight. You don't want to lose it. Home. 
Think of it. Repeat it. Other home, other home, other home. I gotta get back to Sindri's and figure out how to save father. And I gotta keep Ironwood and Angravota a secret somehow. What'd I get myself into? What were you thinking? I... I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days? I... Do not lie to me again! Why did you come here? Alone? Do you seek death? No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. That's not the same. Why not? You hid things. Mother hid things. You had good reasons, and so do I. Why can't you just... Later. Oh! <laughs> 
Violation imaginable. No! Trash! You do not want this! Call your mind! Control it! She was our friend! For the moment, you're of more use to me. Majesty, a pleasure to see you again. Bronifer. Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. What is it you want? I refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim coming right up.
If you are still bound, how will you travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it. And destroy it. I will help you. But it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. Ain't going nowhere without this. Where would you monk spouts even be without me? What is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly, you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from the of winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. It's because you didn't. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beef wit brother of yours. Freyr... is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scrote, too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a moothful hind shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. Come on, let's find a way forward. Through here. Oh no. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Thimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have. Falky! <sighs> Come on then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. Hey, uh, how's about a riddle to take your mind off of things? I'm in What no... runs with no legs? Easy, a nose. You'll have to try harder than that, Brock. Just you wait, smart guy. Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive. I told you. Prune it from a safe distance if you'd rather not get poisoned. I recognize this market. Villages would meet and trade here. Why'd they never rebuild? Brother, do you really think she'll let us off the hook if you help her? I do not know. I choose to help. After that, we will see. Ah. A market, huh? Looks like they sure left behind a lot of goodies. Shame to let them collect dust. That's one way of looking at it. Everyone gone, I wonder. They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. 
No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? Boy, you don't have to strap a loop, do you? <laughs> Pretty sure there's loot you're missing, if and you want to hunt around some. and quality meats. And though I remember your brother stirring up an awful scene. Why do you keep bringing him? Hey! The plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, dwarf. Listen, I know how bad it can get with one dog. Sindri and I were on the out so long it was like not having a brother at all. <laughs> Nah, I take some of the fall for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had passed. We went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, if you happen to... Wolvers, everyone shut your gobs! <laughs> Yeah, hit me already! Got another one joining the party! Look alive! Good hit, brother! You're gonna look 
dandy is a red splotch on this here hammer. Get a candy worker, between you don't have to be the last one said. Enough. When the day comes to face Freya again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Hold up! If you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah. All yours. Okay. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Come on up! Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save you. Uh-oh. Yeah! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor, too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing, then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> no, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me! I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So, you serve my sister. Oh. Oh. Don't we all? Put him down. Leaving me hanging like that, you crusty hag. Oh, can it, Blubber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freya. Just sitting 
up shop at my fort. Just cause I hugged you don't mean I ain't still sore at you squabbling sandpipers. We fixed it so you can come and go between the realms whenever you please, you're very welcome. This here's my family, and I mean much to you, but I mean plenty to me. Just two mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up with my clunkerhead brothers. Five million moonbeams! I didn't realize the Hobbit brothers were back in business. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me! Oh, okay, well, well then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. Now, Brock, ain't you gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? Of course I was gonna! That's Kratos! Though you can call him whatever pops into your head. Kratos, Lunda, we go back. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Yeah, I'll take your crap. Hand it over already. What'll it be? Damn, am I good or what? Need something special? What are you looking for? Now don't go get yourself killed, hear me? Very well. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Ace here in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That that is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir on Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Uh, I lost count. What is your plan? Still got working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Mm. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos, as long as you're working for my sister, careful you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. Late for that one, Alan. Now that the distractions are out of the way. I have words, if you would hear them. Speak them. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about. An ancient!
Before, haven't you? I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own, thanks. Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family. My mess. I know Baldur wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes. I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> Good luck. 
We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya, but it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. You hear that? Noken! And so close to the village! Their song makes their allies invulnerable! They will not let you pass unless you destroy them all! I used to play hide-and-seek with Freyr in the crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this. The Grand Hall. It's in ruin. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Enough what Odin did to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agui. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the storm holes we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Trace would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. Disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Oh. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. You can probably use those islands to get a better angle on the torch, no? Whoa! <laughs> 
Anyone alive be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't? After the price I paid to end one? Look around you, That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Anskotan Asgarda! Vita van Dierstauda! my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? Let's go. 
Go. Tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. Let's go. It's just past those doors up ahead. There. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hold on. Something's not right. Opin Bera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nipo! The creature! It belongs to Odin? No! It's still in the way! 
need to get to those roots! I know! If I free the Vanaheim root, I can help you! I can handle the creature! Focus on the root! I'm trying! Don't just stand there! Move! I have it! In that case... Hurry! Go! 
last much longer. Let us finish this. It's opening his stomach again. Get ready. <laughs> I've shot a sigil into its stomach! You know what to do! That did it! It's going back in! We will not let it! His hold on me, and you are in the way. Last the ripple. done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I can do either. There is still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Everything that's happened between us. No need to. 
to explain. Not to me. Not for that. I do not regret saving your life. And never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. I am myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. <clears throat> we can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. Use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freya. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. <clears throat> These plans are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their I think we'll need to adjust our strategy since there's more than one. Let's try using a sigil. Now the sigil should hold the frost, even in the axe's absence. Well done. Yeah! 
Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. They're impervious to physical attacks. My arrows can disrupt their protection spell. Could I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened. Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? 
It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. Glad you have a spouse to remember from. <laughs> All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. At last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility, one you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. 
We lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me. Freya, please. I... I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have you any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I've missed you so much. And are you angry? But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare head. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your boat. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, even you ain't staying here. Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother. Here to meet our new allies, or shall we depart? Oh, uh, excuse me, can y'all stop and help a lady out, please? Don't hurry on my account. What'll it be? Freyer found her half-dead in the jungle. 
She probably escaped the Blothunder breeding farm north of here. We all told him she was beyond saving. But he never gave up. She healed and hasn't left us since. She's a sweet girl. <laughs> She's pure of heart. Believes in your goodness, even if you don't. Take your crap. Need something special? Good or what? That don't go. Get yourself killed, hear me? I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Runa. Go ahead, carve the letter. Suna. It's an Suna. The elves in Flair's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alpine. Get on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barrens. A trip to Alfheim? Well, we can decide at the gateway. 
This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? <laughs> There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. Right, he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to... Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Hmm. I nut sucker, he owes me one. Fight me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow, but then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm, I don't trust. Well, come on then. Hey, Tear, wake up. You got company. Why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You're sure he won't mind? Mind? You'll be thrilled. Joints but you are gone for two days. You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> Answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! 
Of course not. But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life. You are my son. Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole. Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if mom did. It is not fine. Her secrets haunt every step of this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me. Listen. Say, let go. What the fuck? Atreus. It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. Definitely in Midgard. Keep it coming. You're just helping me stay warm. These things! When did it get so bad out here? The Alpha! Damn! <laughs> At least something out here doesn't want to kill me. I just need someplace warm. Then I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. What is this thing? Some kind of white? trying to tell me something? First, he thinks I've been to Asgard. Then, lying. Ah! I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! Gotta 
gotta get out of the cold. Jump up! Find shelter and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where Father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. Keep control of this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. Oh, no. Charlie? No. Charlie! Please. Please! Charlie! Mm. <laughs> hey, big guy. I'm here now. Don't you worry. Get you warm. You're gonna have to stand to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't help if you don't... Emily! Emily! Buddy, I know. It's cold in here. Freya hasn't been checking on you? Right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Valkyrie armor? Does this go with the wings on the wall? From her friend? When did what happen to her? Wow, it's beautiful. Never seen anything like this around here before. From her home in Vanaheim? She must have really missed it. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. <sighs> Yo, 
You're welcome. Where do I go now? I can't stay. I just can't let my dad die, too. There's gotta be something I can do. It's okay, buddy. I think he's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Hello? I'm here. Odin? Bird. Is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! The wall! This is Asgard. Hold on! I'm coming! You don't seem friendly. Let me around those. Yeah, danger. I know. Got it. I see him. Yeah. Well, this is my 
might be the craziest thing I've ever done. That's what it takes to change father's fate. Hey, bird! Where'd you go? Hold on! I'm coming! He's gotta find a way through. Help him! Everything I came to ask for is on the other side of that wall. There you are! How am I gonna stay to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. Not in a foretold by prophecy kind of way. the other side of that wall. Wait, how do I get past the wall? I never came up with a mere story about Rainford. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. He only told Frey about it, and I didn't think to ask. Hold on, how was Frey at the house? Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. Outcome. Father would just burn this away with his blade. But what can I do? Huh. Maybe that sigil magic on my bow can help. What did Brock say? Ow! If I could just get that fire to spread to the bramble. <laughs> there we go. Wait, that sounds like people. You need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's... I can see this way, except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? <sighs> nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but... I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit! Me too! I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you... all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh... All Father saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long are you stay? You don't know. Okay. 
I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. <sighs> Is that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Odin's raven. You know, from Hugin and Moonin. Pretty good guy. Though, not sure he'll know too much about climbing. <sighs> well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. I, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic is last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, you're doing great. <sighs> Thanks, Gilder. Hope you're right. Here's Temple. Oh, no wonder we couldn't use it to come here. Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? Hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. Why? Up here? I'm coming. Let's get that chain down. <laughs> I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Breathe. And... Yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. Or not. Uh, wanna just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. Out up!
Yeah, up. I get it. Whoa. Okay. These are connected. Yeah, that made sense. I think. Gotta do both sides, though. I can. Huh. I don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. Hey, Hugin. How about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So? Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb, by himself, all the way up Reimter's wall. <sighs> so, what did Loki- ah! So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. <gasps> he just kept climbing. His arms hurt, his fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. <sighs> Nowhere to go but up. Okay, okay. Keep going. Come on, can't stop now. <sighs> ah! Come on! <sighs> okay, I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think, oh, visitors must be welcome? I was sent for, actually. By Odin? The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. Mm. Then why are you out there? And not in here? Why don't we ask him together? Hmm. Ah! Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, Allfather, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you? That's between me and Odin. <laughs> hmm. 
You don't even know, do you? <laughs> think you could pull me up, or...? <sighs> no, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. <sighs> yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar? The Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. <sighs> I will be the judge of that. This way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Oh, done drinking it in already. Cornerstone of civilization in the Nine Realms, not really your cup of tea, I see. Oh, uh, no, it's amazing. Just ask your questions already. How do you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh, you are here to help people. Hmm. No, no. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but. <laughs> What a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Ghoul Topper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burned. I outthink them. <gasps> Dominate them fair and square. Whoa, are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you, clearly whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Primther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Ha! Hey! Whoa! Oh! Hey, Helmets! I brought you a practice demo. I thought we were going to own it! You see, the thing is, you do. 
So I am not letting you anywhere near the altar. Erbausa! Oh, very nice. It moves fast. It's a wonder that people start lost every war they ever fought. That's right. Show me all of your stupid tricks. Well, that was boring. Guess who's next? You sure you want to keep up bother waiting? Funny thing, I am sure of that. Yes, I am feeling very sure, matter of fact. Oh no! Arrow! How fearsome! Whoa! Oh! How is he doing this? Oh! Not even close! Oh! Oh! That one felt special! Oh, hope that was not the last trick you have! You're not gonna stop me from seeing Odin! You'll be seeing him from your grave. What? That doesn't even make sense! Oh! <laughs> That's all you got. How have you survived this long? Ha! That is your big special move? Hilarious! Cowboy, is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Yotin? Wow. I do have to say, Loki. I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs> Knock it off. Like it or not, he's all father's guest. I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki! You made it! I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, no. Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think. You know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh? <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, He's not exactly getting an unbiased view, but you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Priest, meest, carry on, pretend I'm not here. 
If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All father. Queen Gana. The Ainhuyar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Hmm. Huh. Yes, there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these Ain Harry are, but they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon Thinafen, Hrothgar. Moon Thinafen, Form. Moon Thinafen. Yana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things. For my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erlen, try to stay awake for me. Okay, but... Look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in. A major learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family? My friends? I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? A truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I am not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif! You missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here. In our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right, I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there. Oh, other, sir. <gasps> uh. Chief? It's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You're draining puck pockets. You know what, Durlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good.
Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. Guess I could try this on. It has less mud on it anyway. Whoa, I can use this. Huh, nicely equipped. What needs work? Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh-huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Through Thor's Doctor. Relax. You got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. <clears throat> uh, someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, grandfather's study is just down those stairs. So how do you become a Valkyrie? First, I train till I'm the best I can be. Then I wait till grandfather notices. And then I hope he and my dad can convince mom it's okay. You know, my father and I, we encountered a whole bunch of Valkyries. Wait, what? Where? Promise to tell me everything. I promise. Mother, did you meet Loki? Oh, now he's got you involved with this? Involved with what? I'm being friendly. Isn't that diplomacy? You understand who this is, right? What his father did? Why does he want him here? Mom! Come on, you're embarrassing me. We'll talk about this later. You keep discussing this in her earshot. Absolute idiot. I, I must have done something wrong. I, I'll get her again. Do not. not. Sorry about her. I will. Moms, right? So, did you want to look around some more, or do you really need to get to work? Something's different. Somehow got where they was headed. Someone was trying to poison Thor. Please do not involve me in your pathetic attempts to impress one another. Huh? Come on. You haven't had enough Heimdall in your day? Let's go. 
Listen, whatever grandfather is having you do, remember, this is your chance to prove yourself. That's all that some of us want. Oh, yeah. I'll try to do some good. Catch you later. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and... And, and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since, huh, who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us. They give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here? to give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No, we're more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like knowledge, truth. All truth, all the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe? Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end, looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? You recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. Sidioni Spitha. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's a clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. All oh, father. Don't do that. 
What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Moose Bohan, the rest of the mask is here. It's where all father dropped us. What do you think? Take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? All father thinks that you know what you're doing, so do it. Weird. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. I was gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms. Let's see what Loki and that shiny toothpick is. Slow going, huh? We could maybe help. Whoa, Ingrid. Nice move. Yup! Ahead now. I'll check. Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we. Too slow. Hey! Ah! You can't just grab people like that. No, oh, what else are they gonna do? Roll you? <laughs> the day's young. Take care of this one, Loki. Kid, there's things up there hitting us with fire. Use your fall already. Use the arrow. You know, I took my blood payment from your father and went out with my sons. But I haven't taken it from you. Yet. What do you mean? Later. Don't want to keep the All-Father waiting. Speaking of which, mask. Right. We need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you... Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to bone. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. Damwar, Ronan, they were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms and I reveled. Every single one of their deaths. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh, last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. Think you could... Don't play me. Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look, clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, 
but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. Aggressive enough, in my opinion. You're more than welcome to step it up. This is me trusting you. So where's the mask saying to go? Hey, kid, where's the, the mask? The mask is, uh, pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She said. Hey, come look at this. Thor, what the? Ah! Uh, 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 uh. Wait, Surtur Shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking. Well, that's your problem. Trials are just past that cliff. Might be something you and Thu could do together. First, we deal with them. Come on, Thor. Just check them out. What have you got to lose? That's right. Just try it. You getting tired? Not in the slightest. An ogre. You worry? Not in the slightest. Yappa! Hey, neat trick. Father's waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on. Give me a challenge. Hey, Ingrid. Do you trust the Ace here? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. Ow! Ah! 
Can't you guys go fight Thor or something? Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who was trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I... I, I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. The question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fun. Are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> Hello there. A sentient sword. Huh. Another marble. Surters. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to. What seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? They just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... um... love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's Shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just... Be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Ingrid. Think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the god of thunder? Oh. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in Muspelheim. It was like forever ago.
course. I admit, that was fun. There were mountains of corpses by the time I finished. Cut down like a lava ran red with that blood. Through it, really. Great. You want to help down here? Wouldn't think you'd need my help if you beat all those trials. Or did you just watch your father do it? Hey, what's taking so long? I couldn't believe the scores of these things I just killed. It was glorious. I think you're right. Through Woodland. She'd be faring better than you, at least. Done that at any time. You seem to be handling yourself well enough. I was trusting you. So, where to? Let me check. Looks like we need to head through that gate. Thor? Ain't that impressive? Real god stuff. You are a god. You're damn right. And so am I. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. Ah! <laughs> Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Loki, don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. But you're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you, too. What did you do? Loki. The rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, oh, I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a Pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. You always this hard on Thor? Seems like you're mad at him or something. Ooh, getting 
getting personal. No, I get it, but it's nothing like that. It's, well, to be honest, it's the only language he understands, and I'm serious. Go ahead and try being nice to him. See where that gets you. This has been a weird day. Exactly. Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness. It's confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer you counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. 
And not just because of prophecies, no one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before, more than once, but believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate? Lead your armies into war, secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another, for your own sake. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant raider attacks. Oh, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Come. Of course. Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them, and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise? You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The Giants. Faye herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight, all of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. 
see how their heads point the way. Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekran. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. You're so loyal. Why? Clever. Oh. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home, is hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's minds? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Amir, have you encountered these norns? Not personally. The wolves lead us here. I just hope the norns are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. <laughs> Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. <laughs> Hope not. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm. 
Now then, from what I do know of the Norns, Freya's right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Freya, you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you travelled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the World Serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The Sisters of Fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. <laughs> Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. <laughs> Opna. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Enemy! To your left! You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? I've expanded my inventory you since won't we won't believe last it, Lundi. This crest belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. Another crane. Seems it only rotates in the other direction. Watch it! Stop! 
This outpost is what's left of your tomb. Seagrin spoke of growing up with these people as they were in the Valkyries. <laughs> musical instrument from your homeland, isn't it? Can you play? Yes. Will you? No. Now, where have we seen an artifact like that before? Tia's vault.
You know, brother, Sigrun told me her kingdom housed a great treasury filled with the spoils of her family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Is that all she told you, Mimir? Did she say where? No, just that they kept it hidden. <laughs> Those runes over there can shed some light. What? No. She never mentioned. Is that a key? Wonder what lock that key belongs to. No lock. It is broken. Not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find its partner. What did those runes say? Secret. She loved another. A king named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come, Mimir. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? I Suppose I did. up another trail. Keep following their heads. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Hrimthur whispered to you? Who? Hrimthur. The son of Thormur, the stonemason. 
He disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Enough. We will continue later. Another gravestone. But this one's intact. Aye, and with a keyhole tailor made for the help we found. I was afraid of that. Kratos, tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. The oarsmen. Ugh. A monument to conquerors. <laughs> Made some lovely warships, though. Another Fjotelund marking. Aye, this place must have been part of Sigrun's kingdom. A first outpost preceding further expansion. There must be another way around. Looks like there's a staircase on the other side. <laughs> Oh! 
Secret's homeland in such a terrible state. You know, Maria, if you want to take a tour of her kingdom, you might not like everything you do. So she loved another before me. There are worse things to discover about someone you love. Yes, there certainly are. Another staircase. Maybe those runes can give us a bit of history about this place. That can't be. It is. Oh, Mimir. Look. The other half of the key. I knew those key pieces would fit. Can't wait to see what lock it belongs to. <laughs> Helgi massacred her family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Sigrun and her brother had issues over that. Oh, and all the time Sigrun and I spent with each other. She never mentioned anything about this. Maybe she liked the way you saw her. Brother, 
you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on, then. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye. Very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. From behind! Incoming! Right, right! Wait. The shield that's blocking the entrance. It looks exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. Brother, your fight with Thor must have scattered pieces of Tyr's statue all over the lake. Looks like the shield ended up lodged here. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. Well done. 
Now we just need to open the gate. Well done. Oh, sure. Together again. Mamir, does this look like an abandoned treasury to you? Aye, it does. It's Seagrin's family trap. Looks like a vault door to me. Now that we have both halves to that key, we should see if it matches that lock. It's Prince Dogger. I can't believe he's still here. Prince Dogger? That the corpse of Sigrun's brother? How do you end up like that then? Freya, why won't you answer me? Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Hmm. It seems Sigrun put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. Once she did, it was too late. She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigrun's family, didn't you, Freya? Not my story to tell. Funny. Learning all this only makes me love her more. She chose me despite my flaws, my regrets. Knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it. What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it.
I was secret when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. You remember anything about what Dreamthrough the Stonemason's son said to you after building Asgard's wall? Oh. What is that? place. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls? Yes. No. I think the water just froze. Your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Yeah. <laughs> 
Over here. Open up. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. our own minds yet. <clears throat> he certainly seemed real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. He was guarding that way outside. Hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred.
Ah, here we go. Counselor to the king. Mary Wanda of the Woods. Robin of the Good Fellows. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. Mm. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? Bloody hell, look at that thing! Invulnerable when it Close goes! In. Attack! Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. That itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. Hey, how very dare you! Babbling! Door. 
Oh, that looks official. Listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! So you're doing on Earth! I am so sick of your constant menace! What have you done to me? What have you done to me? You will not touch them. You will not harm him. Nobody harms my boy. But me. No. Freya, brother, over here. Come get me. I want none of this. Imagine them thinking I... Secret? Brother, hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Don't lie! Don't! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day! He put you in that tree! You sought favor! You wanted his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a death until you turned on! I know, Secret. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor of peace. An ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scott? To Grover? Or to Tanya? No! You! Up to the side of the power that he used! Mother, watch out! There's more of them! Even now! You see a violent gun in need, and you can't help but hate him and call him brother. It's who you always are. Who you are. And it's who you are. It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree, it's pulling me in. Mamir! Brother, help me! Monsters! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! I'm scared! Why don't you see him the way he wants to be seen? Did we pass the test? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. 
She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a titan. That might not be her favorite subject. Its own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Well, that was educational. Hmm. Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <laughs> Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, We've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. Kratos, I see something. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. And we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake.
tell me of this power Heimdall wields? He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? They're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. This will be of use. And for the Valkyrie Queen? Something in mind? I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Drop near. I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Drop near. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Drop near, you'd need. You were saying. Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him.
I'm gonna miss you, little one. Got it! I think. I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. We... Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we then should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit... The lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady. No idea what he's on about, brother. See you out there. Ah, Master Kratos, over here. They're Master all Kratos, blame us. I have a matter of some urgency. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh no, this whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your fret. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that, then? Don't you century trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a lyre been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. Keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is.
Guess we'll have to blast our way out. That barrel by the gate could do the trick. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. A little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic age. Oh, all right. Might have earned that one. Watch the tongue, Kratos! The Alpha! Well, I can see why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. Another oil spill. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Please listen. You have to let me take Rock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. It's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate, the one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. <laughs> Gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. Go! 
potential arrows should work with ice as well. It's open. Was a bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. Ah, you've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? <laughs> I'll wager we can redirect the water to get that wheel turning. That worked. Shall we? This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know, and we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Yotnar. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. 
Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. <laughs> You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turning. That's a start. Ah, teamwork. Oh! Oh, bugger. Oh. There's two of them. And they're angry. Oh. Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. Look, I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Einherjar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the forge. Funky! Uh, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Loosen it up when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. Oh, <laughs> 
get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. <laughs> You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. I know you. You're the rump sucker We're about to get clean. Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Now that we can reach it. Hmm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this plane and cap that geyser. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. <laughs> Turn it again. Promising. There you go. Right on the money. Gates open. Come on through and get those cables. They've seen us. They're up oh. there! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Finally! Now we can ride on up to the Ford. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from it. Well, let's see. Something abstract to expect. 
Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stomp the stomp. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam pot. For the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of the thing. Hmm. Hang on! I smell trouble. So this lady, then? The Lady of the Forge. Ain't a more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never have it. Said I was too uncouth. <laughs> but today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. All fuck knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Bay's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn, and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. Is the 
forward. Here she comes. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Vector almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? <laughs> the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done.
Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! You got volunteers! <laughs> It is the first weapon a Spartan learns. What hell? Ain't this just like old times? I need to put this more forebodingly myself. <laughs> This one, boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. Uh, guys, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all. We gotta finish putting the spirit through her paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. <laughs> bigger the more you take away. <laughs> ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. 
Lesson? Take note of that there, watch him a hoos. Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. Not seeing no weak spots down here, but you keep looking. Look out Bit late for that. Got one last favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very well. These ugly birds. Maybe those Grim will take him down. over yonder. I see a shorter path. Aye. Can we let Brock improve your gear before we go? Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it horking and borking. What are you looking for? You know what you want? This will draw attention from your face, at least. Axe 
actually looks pretty good on you. Big man, need something special? Take your crap. Hand it over already. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Ready when you are. Wait, feels like there was something else. And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a, has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours. He's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age. To break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the God you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the God I once was. And what kind of God is that? Kratos, what do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself, beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled Good timing. You. Let's see what Brock made you. Brock! <laughs> Ha! 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 Ha!
So that's the weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. So this drop near spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone. There's a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. And if I'm right, you best prepare for a fight. After the field of Kallus! For the king! Bag. You knew this warrior. Do me a favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, 
Give him the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point, Mimir? You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. Hey, big guy. Speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon. No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Yield, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ein Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Why? Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True, though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. Now do the thing! Oh, look at that. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am tired. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing whatever. Hell shit, like I said. Why? Some reason you expected it to flip sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear everything you see it in plan. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. I taught him all about the nature of the thing and the form of the thing. Become a whole motif. You're making up words again. I said it was a motif, and it was beautiful. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around here. I 
and Lady Freya? Make up your mind? That'll polish up real nice. You make up your mind. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Do you enjoy the gentle waves, little one? 
Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Do you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> to think the mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Uh. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? I'm building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Through. Hey. It's through. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that a that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Oh, no, it didn't. It didn't hurt. Also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right. Okay. Uh, here, then take this, and uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif, and uh, Trez. See you later, Throod. Bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. This is the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later? complicated than you think. You don't need to know why things are done. You But I'm old enough. This isn't about your age. Then what is it about? Because by this point, Magni and Modi were set on the path that led to their death. I don't understand. You never try to. Then help me. Why are you so intent to walk the same path? And with that boy, no less. It's not about him. I just... This is my dream. Haven't you ever? You're not some farmhand. We are Aesir. We have duties, not dreams. And you need to start acting like it. Sometimes I hate you. Huh. Out of here. Maybe Odin's down in this library. I just don't get it. The mask, bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I liked you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. I finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir, isn't it? The first giant? Tell me, can you murder a landslide? Smother a storm? He was more a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to, to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust shh, you. Shh, shh. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift. Possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. 
when it blinded me, I thought it was over, that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this. And I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear, on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath. Wind. It's gotta be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Don't mess this up for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention. Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, ho whoa, 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 hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lau. Should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Huh? The mirror said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? Throod, too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to Helheim. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. <sighs> now, as much as I would love to babysit, I have something else to do for the Allfather. If you run into any trouble, just scream so I know where to find your bodies. Oh, he's such an asshole. Let's find that mask piece. Finally, I can test my skills alongside the real Valkyrie expert. First off, Hellwalkers are nothing compared to Valkyries. Second, I thought you didn't believe me. Here's your chance. father who corrupted them or that he caused the desolation in Midgard or that he had all the giants killed am I missing anything uh lots actually <laughs> Decimated Vanaheim, tortured Tyr, murdered Groa, murdered Amir. It goes on and on. Interesting. And where'd you hear all this? Freya and Mimir told me. Oh, so his traitorous ex-wife and a bitter former advisor. Got it. Look, you don't believe me, but... No, I don't. Either you're full of crap or you're a hypocrite for helping him. Can we just focus on the mission? Dead end. This is where the mask said to go? What's it say? Let's double back. We'll find a way around. See? More Hellwalkers! That means we're headed the right way. Ah. Do or I 
I got this. Uh-huh, sure you do. Hey, we're okay, right? I guess. Maybe our families are just meant to be enemies. Well, not us. I don't believe that. What I do believe is that you'll make a great Valkyrie. I'll tell your mom the same thing. Even if she scares the life out of me. Thanks. Now, we have a masterpiece to find. No way through up here either. Now what? I'm not sure. But my gut's telling me what we need is here. Go! It fell through the floor! Could be our way up. Let's head back down and find out. Now we go right. Into a group of hellwalkers. Let's get them. Got him. Whoa. What is that? A revenant. I'll slow it down for you. Nah, I got this. Ervaluta. Very, very creepy. Stop. Let's go. What's the mask say? So, the mask's pull is a little weird with all these buildings in the way, but I think we're going the right way. You think? Help! 
Wait, so this way? Uh, sure. Are you messing with me? I need this to go well. I need my family to see what I can do. I know. We both do. Uh, looks like it's through here. Let me get that for you. Okay, this thing is really fighting me. See anything in there? Up there. Nice. Whatever you shot crashed through the floor again. Let's head back and check it out. So, I talk about my mom a lot. What's your dad like? He's intense. Like he's trying to force me into this mold. But I'm not sure that's me. Well, I know exactly what that's like. Thing is, I don't know what I want. I love that you do. You'll figure it out. Whoa! Okay, that's the big one. More of them! How No, it doesn't. Mom's gonna have a real tough time keeping me in Asgard after this. Which way? The mask showed it was straight ahead earlier. But of course the way's blocked. Maybe they're trying to keep people out. Or something in. I bet there's another way around. There always is. Sweet. So, how'd you know you wanted to be a Valkyrie? I didn't always. After a bad fight with Mom, I snuck out and found them training. Somehow, every movement they made had such purpose, like they knew exactly where they needed to be. And in that moment, so did I. So, where to now? Uh, looks like it's through here. So training gave me... Too heavy? Shut up. Something's blocking it. I'll take a look. But I want to hear the rest. Deal. Not bad. I know. As I was saying, seeing the Valkyries fight, all the strength and style and it gave me clarity. For the first time, I saw my path forward. Clear as day. Two bad giants have to follow prophecy. Who cares? Make your own path, just like we've been doing here. Now let's see. Step aside, little man. <sighs> this one's stuck too! But I feel it weakening. It looks like it. Bring it on! Stop <laughs> it! 
make a good team. Yeah. Where to now? Looks like it's through here. But it's blocked. What if I move this? Aha! Uh -huh. Can you get up there? See if you can find a way to cut the crate down on the other side. I'll wait here. I don't have a fancy way up like you do. Got it. Ingrid, was I too rude about her grandfather? She should know the truth, right? Yeah, guess so. Hey, you talking to me? Uh, no. Just talking to Ingrid. Okay. Well, I'm waiting. <laughs> Can I get a better view of that crate? You did it! Better get back. Hey, what's going on out there? You okay? open. Let's go. Whoa. The mask is freaking out. We must be close. <clears throat> what was that? Don't look at me. You're the one who's been here before. It's probably nothing. Doesn't sound like nothing. Yep. Well, you gotta get out of here. The mask. We're so close. Besides, I don't think it's dangerous. Are we looking at the same thing? Maybe he's locked up for a good reason. I can feel what he's feeling. It's a giant thing. Look, he just wants to be free. The peace must be behind him. Trust me. All right, let's start with the lock not near its teeth. Sleeper. Let's do the next. There's another one under his foot. You're welcome, mangy mutt. Let's look in the chamber he was guarding. Uh, 
A dead end? Please tell me it's down in the water or something. There's... How? It's not responding anymore. This has never happened. But you said trust you. And we let that thing loose. Grandfather's gonna kill me. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Through. Wait up. Maybe we missed it. Maybe it's back here somewhere. Through. Through. It's... it's gonna be okay. How I... can you say that? I shouldn't have listened to you. Look, if I made a mistake, I'll fix it. I can find the piece. Qualified moron! You know that thing tears holes between realms, right? <sighs> well, I suppose I should expect nothing less from half breeds. Don't call me a half breed. <clears throat> I will call you whatever I like, Junior. Leave him alone. It was a mistake. No! The mistake was allowing you to think that you were ready. You helped him, didn't you? What side are you on anyway, Guppy? Try me and find out. Oh. <laughs> and what are you going to do exactly? You see, everyone takes it easy on you because they are afraid of your father. I am not. That fat, drunken, utter piece of trash! Hey! Again! Yes, yes, the dumb does not fall far from the tree. Very well, then. Give me your best shot. have a lot to learn, little girl, starting with who your family is and who it is not. Just wait until I'm a Valkyrie. <laughs> oh. You really believed the Allfather would allow that to happen? <sighs> Please. Do not let this little weasel feed your delusions any longer. Enough! So close. Stop! He just wants to make you mad. Yeah? Well, it worked. Uh, well, uh, you toddlers are boring. If you are finished throwing your little tantrum, we should go now. Because I cannot wait to watch you explain this mess to the author. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Hoogan! He's not here. Let's check his study. Oh, boy, is he going to lose it. Father will have my back. After the Allfather sent him away sulking with his tail between his legs? Doubtful. And you, Loki of the Jotnar, I am haunted by your incompetence. It keeps me up at night. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, seriously, I, I find the hues and shades of your shortcomings almost moving if we could only somehow harness your uselessness we could fuel this entire city fine it's all on me just leave her out of it i don't need your help loki sorry save it for the all father we have a lot to discuss loki i'll meet you in your room when i'm finished here shouldn't be long okay my mission went quite well, All Father. Secured the item. Thanks a lot. Throod. 
I... I don't want to hear it. Everything was fine until you showed up. I'll make it up to you, I swear. I really messed up. It's times like this I really miss home. Ingrid, did you have a home before you came here? Someone who took care of you? It sounds like a yes. Maybe I could help you find them without, you know, screwing it up. Sound like a plan? May I come in? I heard what Heimdall had to say. I'd like to hear it from you. What happened? It wasn't there. I was wrong. Well, we all make mistakes, son. But freeing Garm, <laughs> that was a big one. Chaos is already spilling out into the other realms. We're safe here in Asgard, but everywhere else. I think I want to go home now. OK, if that's what you want. I meant it when I said you're not a prisoner here. It's your choice. Go, clear your mind. I know you'll be bad. But before you go, I'll need the mask back. It's not that I don't trust you, you understand. It's the company you keep. Oh, and Ingrid? Loki, when you do decide you're ready to continue our work here, Hugin will be waiting for you in your old home. You screwed up. Doesn't change the fact that you're welcome here. Oh, and say hi to Mimir for me. Never thought I'd be so relieved to be back here. If you're staying, you might be waiting a while. Of course. the Mystic Gateway quick. Odin was right. Freeing Garm. How did I screw up so badly? Almost home. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. No, no, no! It's you! Wait! It's you! Protect yourself! Cheers! Guys, yeah. time! Kill Where are you? Where's Farmer? Trying to find a way to you! Do you mind? We're being attacked right now! Atreus, watch out! This won't stop until I close that bounty. Atreus, help keep them off me! Stop <laughs>
Tell me where! Lassa Reef. Lassa Reef. Lassa Reef. Father! Off your back. Help Freya. I will draw them to me. No thanks to you. Where is Atreus? Atreus? Has the runaway returned and brought all this with him? <laughs> Just hold still. I told you I'm fine. Oh, you're bleeding. Quit your blubbering. So my fault. The Hellwalkers. They're everywhere. Everywhere. That is not your fault. Yes, it is. There was a wolf in hell. He was in chains and. And I set him free. I, I thought that if. Garm! Great bleeding fuck lad, you freed Garm! Garm? Who freed Garm? That's madness. Surely not you, young one. If the Hound of Hell is loose, he'll chew through the fabric of the realms. Hellwalkers are just the beginning. What were you thinking? Aye, this is a fuck-up of not insignificant proportions. What would drive you to such mischief? Is this Loki's doing? Enough. Leave him. Atreus has made a mistake. One that we will fix together. Grand. Now, if you don't mind, I'd rather stay here. I've had my fill of visits to Helheim. One problem. Excuse I'm not sure I have a way back to Elon. Perhaps the squirrel does. I need to speak with you at once. At once, I say.
Gentlemen, I apologize for my brusque tone, but whatever has lately transpired in Helheim is completely unacceptable. I must insist you remedy the situation without... We are going. And do try not to fuck up. Aren't you gonna, uh, you know, reprimand me? No. I am relieved. You are safe. Okay. Wow. Maybe I should run away more often. Atreus. Kidding. Sorry. So where'd the new spear come from? Brock made it. From Dropnir. What's that? A... ring. But what's its story? I do not know. You are not there to ask. <sighs> Atreus! He's probably just scared. He was chained up for a really long time. We can't hurt him, okay? A desperate creature can be the most dangerous. I know. Come on, we gotta get across before he opens up more realm tears. Can your new spear knock out that piece of the wall? Looks fragile enough. Did Odin ask you to free that creature? What? No. Why? Are you not working with him? It's not what you think. Whatever he promised, he cannot be trusted. I don't. But he has something I need. It's hard to explain. <clears throat> Get up there. This ice is in the way. Your work for Odin. You said it is hard to explain. Why? I just need you to trust me. I know I have no right to ask. Can you anyway? What does he have that you need? Why can you not tell me? It's complicated. What about you? Why do you have a new weapon? I thought you didn't want war. I do not. But... It's complicated? Everyone keeps secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. And don't worry about Odin. I'm not going back there. That is good to hear.
to hear too. Tell me, what were you doing in Asgard? I was translating things for Odin. There's this mask he found and a magical rift that's connected to it. It's all sort of... Complicated. Yeah, but I met people my age there. Made friends. I think we're still friends. You cannot trust those loyal to Odin. It's not always bad to trust people. It compromises your judgment. Maybe, but I'm tired of feeling alone. Atreus, I... Let's just figure out how this gate works, okay? The gear's blocked when the gate is up. Use my new arrows. They can chain elements. Out. I think we're going to need more than one sigil. Stop him. 
This is all my fault. Enemies down. decision to go to Asgard help me understand Odin doesn't want Ragnarok I, I know I can't trust him but I needed his help I can't let Ragnarok happen either I would have helped you I know but wait he's right here Watch out! 
Squeeze through here. If Odin truly wishes to avoid Ragnarok, then we are in agreement. Yeah? Then what's that spear for? To protect you. Don't you have other weapons for that? Seriously, why the fear? I share. It's your turn. We are not the same. I am the parent. You're ducking the question. Alpha! I think my arrows will stick to the wood up there. Try not to kill the beast.
What is your plan? I'm sort of making it up as I go. But you're not talking about Varm. You cannot outsmart Odin. It's worked so far. Has it? Now what? I'm gonna try to tame it. Tame it? Sure. I've tamed wolves before. Okay, I'll distract Arm. You freeze his chains with your axe so he can't run and latch him onto something. No, too dangerous. It's a good plan. Let's move. Wait. Are you okay? We almost... Your transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. We will not rely on what he taught you. Next time, we'll do it my way. Yes, sir. Why didn't that work? You didn't mess up on purpose, did you? No, who does not trust? Sorry, I wasn't fair. I just... I thought it would work. Patience. We will find a way. I think we need to get up to that ledge up there. How? Do you see? Oh, why didn't I think of that? The solution is not always obvious. Oh! <laughs> 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 
hear him up ahead we do this my way now i guess your way means it means what you think it means can't we try and we have the power to limit the harm this creature can cause we will use it
it is over. I wish it didn't have to end that way. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. Can we just go home now? Atreus. I know. Close my heart to it. <sighs> Another locked door. Welcome. <laughs> Guess sigil arrows don't work on that. Maybe we can use my sigils to carry the frost to the gear. Freezes. You are gone. I sought the Norns. They told me Heimdall intended to kill you and ask God. Heimdall? The Norns? Flooding the realms. The realms will collapse. You must learn to calm your mind. Maybe I've learned I run better on chaos. What else did you learn? We work better when we trust each other. You hear that? Where is he?
We gotta find him. Come on. Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do when Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could... Change its nature. Yeah. Let's see if it took. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. <laughs> You're okay. Sorry I hurt you. It's over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it! Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets. No. A promise. When that someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to mom? See what I can do when you trust me?
is done, we should inform the others. Decide our next move. So, when the Nords told you Heimdall was going to try and kill me, that's what your spear's for, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? You don't want war. No, but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. How can Maybe we can use the sigils to freeze the gear up there. Father, if you can't trust the fates, why do you care what they say? When it comes to your life, I can take no chances. The Mystic Gateway got buried. I have it. What's wrong? I have been falling back into my old ways. Angry, distrustful. With you, now and before. Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> Nothing is written. That can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. 
First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. You're back. How did it go? The beast should trouble us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through, I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to... <laughs> and listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sindri? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You were right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tiara. I believe you just might. What'll it be? Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive.
Need something special? And the kid? Brother, before we check on here, is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help. Ready when you are. Good or what? Very good. You make up your mind. Hey, wait! We're with you. Travel to Vanaheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So, what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? What's this thing? Some kind of altar? I do not know. Ow! Freya's camp is to the right. No rushes there. 
Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered, and there is much I owe her. Don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. At least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> I think he's really forgiven me for shooting him. Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. I'm just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, eh? OK, OK. Point taken. Oh! 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 
looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. Alpha! Behind you! Incoming! <laughs> This excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Otis Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir's the Light Elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar, married to a warrior, Baylor. Why was he exiled? You don't have to ask him for the full tale, but I take it that he and Baylor's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Baylor's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. I can sense them up there. It's got to be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's going to be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenar Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye. That's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We'll try that first. So besides Hedrasvini and the elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice.
There she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. This wall, when I bring it down, we strike. Yeah! Uh. Empty. Where'd they all go? Wait. There's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. Dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. <laughs> Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Going up the wall! 
She's still up there. Another ambush? Really? That time's the charm. They are not smart. I and does that. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. Heimdall must have grabbed this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it.
Here goes nothing. Just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodas Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the cap. <laughs> That wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuryar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that.
like the egros. <laughs> so, we report back to Hildes Fini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the lighthouse. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. Do all the plants you want to kill us? No, no. Only the carnaptious ones. Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowthunder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. Your fire blades are looking a little cool. Hand them over. Thank you. You still owe me the story of who made these things. Need something special? And Lady Freya? This will draw attention from your face, at least. What are you looking for? gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Big Fear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. 
While Atreus and Hildesfiend slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Good! That's the way!
They've rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Mm. Our disadvantages are many. That no can heal your friends, brother! Tiofa! Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. Our actions in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? God, Samir. What? The most annoying man alive. <laughs> Oh. 
more up ahead. Enemy behind you, Kratos! <laughs> Alas, we're on Neathog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathog protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. <laughs> <laughs> Make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. <clears throat> We're coming for you, Ingvi. position <laughs> what idiots no oh. if it isn't queen mistletoe herself hilarious by the way been a while i'm dull <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father lucky day <laughs> You have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Mm. <laughs> no. The burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. 
See you soon. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? So aggressive. So angry. With your reputation, I thought I would at least break a sweat. Cool told forever due to you. Have some Vibrost on me. Really? You are the one who killed Bowser? <laughs> Having fun yet? Oh well, you and me then. Oh wait, you expected the stick to give you an advantage? Nobody is coming. Queen Mistletoe is long gone. It's just you and me, and that traitorous head. Well, I'm waiting. What the? Huh? I can feel your frustration, you know. It is immensely satisfying. What now, brother? This pair remains our best chance. Hey, careful! These are new braces. Did you just want to chat? Do you just want to talk it out? Is that an option? Not in this reality, traitor. You actually hit me. Slow down. I don't remember the last time anyone Hit me! <laughs> there we are! Armor fit for a cop! You think you can bring down the Asgard? Hurry! Stop! Slow down! You know, pain is not as bad as I remember.
Oh, no, no, no. You are going to spare me out of pity. <laughs> well, let it go, and you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him. <laughs> <laughs> This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. You are in way over your head! Don't you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the Aesir, the Herald of Ragnarok! I am going to find that little mongrel of yours and beat his face into a pulp! is walking away from this. And it sure as shit will not be you! How dare you try and spare me! I am growing very sick of That was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us.
A little help? At least the rescue's going well. Won't hold them for long. Whoa! Of course! Ski off Mia. Freya's boat. They will regroup. We should go.
You should have seen your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that. We have guests! Going too smoothly. Uh, little help? Uh, uh, step too fast! Look out! I can't get a steady shot. Get on you! Do you free? Coming in for another Do you friend? Yourself, Ritzama. I've been in a tundra doyer. No more. Um, Dolan. Bigger! No! For I think that's the end of Birger. You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. He... Uh, he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. Don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. Cloth and boiling water. Red root and lamb's crest. I know, I know. You think I never staunch a bleeder before? Oh. Now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah! Damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck you says to me for? I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vadaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. Oh, 
prophecy holds that Galahorn is the Herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Supposedly it. Hold the trails. We will discuss in private. What'll it be? Need something special? No refunds. What does that mean? How could smell something? Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Tracks. Helkas. So, what do you want to do now? We don't have to go straight home, do we? Bah, we can always try finding Helka some other time. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. It's blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms, and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. <laughs> been the best. Hey, tell her she's the best. Enough. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? I'm Dahl's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refused that deal. Yet he honored it. But now. But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage. Now, it's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can- Go back. Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon, before they figure out what's happened. Trace, you 
our home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you... Then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. You know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, you heard me. And therein lies a tale. Trace, listen. I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Sindri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. All right, Odin said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir, anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a weakness or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, he'll disintegrate. I lad, wouldn't that be? Yeah. Sorry, Mimir, I can't do your accent. I'm on my own for this one. <sighs> Here we go. It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No. Sorry. This is Fenrir. Mm. It's okay, Ben. She's, uh... <laughs> oh. So I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. And where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Angraboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions. But he's Odin. 
You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you... Would you take care of Finn while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. Won't I, boy? <laughs> Be careful, Loki. Okay. All right, I just gotta help Odin complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? He's probably in a study. I promise you he had nothing to do with it. Hey, uh, sorry for interrupting. <laughs> You're not interrupting anything. Forsetti's investigating. So the truth will come out soon enough. I hope it does. You'd better go. Okay. Panic does nothing. Harness it. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean, everyone hated them. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything, something noteworthy? I mean, you know, he did sock through pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out, got even, I, I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know. Honest. Well, I had to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you now? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else entirely. I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird. Find Thor. We're going to Niflheim. It's you too. Hey, Ingrid, you wouldn't happen to know where Thor is. Yeah, I figured. Ruth? Sorry, um, all father said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around, and I was wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with grandfather? No. I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh, also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're right. Later. Back in Helheim, I told you I'd help your mom understand how much becoming a Valkyrie meant to you. I wanted to, uh, let you know that I meant it. You did it. And you're still alive? I haven't yet. But I will, as soon as I come back. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time to get under her skin later. Thanks, Loki. Weapons aren't allowed inside. We'll have to check them. Why? Just do it. Come on, this way. Oh. 
Come on. Come on. They're not gonna let you in otherwise. Look around. He'll be here. <laughs> Throod, I'm... It's fine. Hey, Thor. Seems like it might be a bad time, so... If you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but... Uh... Right where I thought you'd be. You shouldn't be here. You. You shouldn't have brought her here. What are you doing? Relaxing. Did I say no rush? Oh. I meant we should get going, right? We don't want to keep the Allfather. Quiet! He's right. You should get going. <sighs> Dad? Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants, and pissing me! Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with its face. I can't. This isn't you. Uh, Thor. <clears throat> Hugin is waiting outside. Please, let's just... I said, quiet, boy. My name is... Uh, what? No, I... Oh, come on. No, 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 I swear that really wasn't... That's enough! Ah! 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 
nail in pain. Yes. How are you still conscious? his arms. Let's get him out of here. It's a good fight. <gasps> I'm sorry you had to see him like this. No. No. It's fine. Really. Hey, I'm strong, but you gotta help me out here. Come on, it's not that far. Get up. Ah, Thrudy. You are going to Niflheim with Loki, all father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? <sighs> Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... We're here for you. Mom and I are here for you. Even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. or something.
a hurry to get back to Asgard? Just get us to that mask piece. Was it worth it? I don't know what you're talking about. Fine, but I hope you know what's seeing you like that, did you? I was drunk, not blind. Hey, why can't we just fly over these guys straight to the mat? You think I want to carry you all that way? You're strong! I'm not your pack horse. Help them! Rude looks up to you. I hope you know that. Don't need a lecture about parenting from you. Just find the thing. Looks like we gotta head through that wall. Do Something you wanna... I need to do first. <laughs> Take your time. Now we can go. Loki, you really keep trying to... I don't even know what you're trying to do anymore, but... You have no idea the kind of shit I've been through. Right. Have giant son of a powerful god with impossibly high expectations. How could I ever know what that's like? Neat trick. You know, I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just pointing out we're not that different. I got no interest in bonding over shared blood. Another wall of ice. Hmm. Thor, mm -hmm. could you... Okay, I just want to add one more thing. If you can't be yourself, you also might not feel like you can follow your own path. That doesn't sound familiar to you at all? Like it did into me. 
So we've got some similar life experience. What does it matter? It seems stupid to gripe about the things we can't change. Who says we can't? Alka! <laughs> Again with the griping. Calling out a problem isn't griping. It's Bet you're glad I'm helping so much this time around. You're welcome. I will say the sword's doing work over there. You're lucky she's held us too. <laughs> Just blast them apart. Poof. Problem solved. Don't have to think, don't have to feel. Through there, just ahead. This'll be fun. I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. So, I said it'd be fun. It was. Up this way. Looks like there's a path. One pathway coming up. You enjoying the freedom? Out here without Fabio looking over your shoulder? I, uh... Well... Yeah, I guess. It's different from what I'm used to. In a good way. Looks like we gotta get up that cliff. Which I think we No thinking. It's better when I know it's gonna happen. <laughs>
to him. We're close. Uh, maybe. I can check. Erbauta! <laughs> Thor, I, um, hope everything goes okay when you see Sif and Thud again. Well, hoping is better than thinking. It's a start. was close. Um, thanks, Thor. Wasn't about to lose that map. Loki, you did it. We are on the verge of great things, all of our work together. You're welcome. I'm sorry. You are here. Why? His father murdered Heimdall. For said he has proof. Take him. No. Leave him alone. I command it. You said no more Aesir blood would be spilled. You said family comes first. You don't think that this is retribution for him being here? He's put your granddaughter in danger. He's made your son miserable. Loki didn't kill Heimdall. His father did. Your daughter is old enough to make her own mistakes. And your husband started drinking again all on his own. Dismissed! You two, a word. Can't you see what's happening? He's not protecting us. Magni, Modi, our boys. We used to tell them stories by the fire. Do you remember? We would carve those wooden horses. We would play and laugh until the sun sank and they fell asleep in our laps. They were thrown at the All-Father's problems like brittle knives to a mountain face. And for what? What if Thrut's next? My father against me. My daughter. I have no idea what's happening. You know, I finally thought of something I can teach you. Hey, you stand me. down! Sindri better be right. Where are you? Sindri. Ugh. You sure know how to plan an exit. Atreus. <sighs> Hmm. 
Glad you're safe, lad. Got out just in time. Pretty sure I burned my bridges in Asgard, though. Wait, why were you out here? Sindri told us where you would arrive should you find trouble. Oh, thought you might have been exploring without me. No, lad. Your dad was just concerned. Though, now that you mention it... Lumir. Brother, please. It's all so crowded and tense back home. Don't you miss the three of us out finding our own adventures? Putting off the inevitable. Exactly! It's not the worst idea. I do want to show everyone the mask, but it'll keep. Hmm. Back, everybody. Hey, hey. You made it. I'll get to here. Back. Do you want to set the table if you're ready to stay? Oh, see? I told you the key would get him home. Because you tapped oh. it with a hammer. Dwarven magic makes no sense. Right? Lunda one time made me a breastplate out of dog barks. You're back. I still can't figure that out. Are you one okay? Out. I'm fine. I just hope unlocking this thing was worth the cost. You have it. What did it show you? I didn't get to use it. They found out about Heimdall. I had to run. But at least Odin can't use it either. But if you didn't get any answers from the mask, all you've done is steal Odin's greatest treasure. Just after your father's killed his most loyal ally. None of us are safe. Even here. So we have no choice. We find Surtur, sound Galahorn, and bring Odin to justice. Now. You'd incinerate every soul in Asgard and call it self-defense? Does he ever suggest plans or just crap on everyone else's? The obvious plan is staring you in the face. We don't need Odin to use this. We can slip into Asgard and do it ourselves, right under his nose. We gain the knowledge we need to shatter this prophecy of war once and for all. Except begging your pardon, you don't have a way into Asgard. They got the big horn, don't they? Oh, so you expect them to sneak into Asgard, blowing a horn that sounds across all the realms? I expect you to bite my blue butt cheek. Please, just think about it. This mask, the easy answers that it promises. I know this. Shortcuts always have a price. Atreus. You have carried it. What do you think? I think it's a chance. At worst, we'll have something Odin wants as leverage. At best, if it really gives us all the answers, then we can make our own path. And nobody has to die. Hmm. Grand. Now all we need is a way to Asgard. <laughs> I know I've been a burden to you all. I know you've questioned why you even pulled me out of that hole. I have too. But it's clear now. This is what I'm needed for. This is my purpose. One last time, I will pick up my spear and I will lead us to Asgard. Excuse me. But if you got a way to Asgard, where's that idea been this whole fucking while? Lads! Not that a fair question, brother. You withheld Asgard. You would have gotten us all killed. And we needed to give Loki time to find his destiny. Here it is. It's all led to this. If we can get inside, I'm going after Odin. I will not stop you. We can do both. Spot on, brother. If the mask doesn't give us an out, we'll still have the drop on him. Mm. Works for me. Let's do it then, and quickly, before he sees us coming. He does hate surprises. Slow down, you damn spruce. I still want to hear the details on this uh, new way to Asgard you got. Spill it! It's an ancient path. We can't reach it from here. Where then? Let me collect my things and I'll show you. You ain't got no things. And where are you going with that mask, Rock? That belongs to the kid. He earned it. All you done was make passable dirt soup. Rock, it's okay. No, it ain't. This ain't right. All the pieces ain't welding together true. Like 
What's with him calling you Loki anyway? You know that ain't his name. Hey, I'm talking to you. Oh, you uh, never uh, shut up. Uh, 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 All the things, Odin. Let go of the boy and face me. Tell your brother to throw me the mask, and you've got a deal. Stop moving. Freya, if he dies. No, no. It wasn't part of the plan. But if he dies, we are square for Heimdall. And honestly, you got a bargain. I will kill you. Plan on that. Mm -hmm. So nice spending time with you again. Freya, please. Uh, uh, uh. Can't be in two places at once, Frigg. Hey! I don't move, you don't move. Don't do anything, you won't crack. I regret many things. Killing you will not be one of them. Lose my son! I am in control! Here! Throw me the mask! Now! Too bad, son. Looks like war after all. Please, you have to save him. You have to. He can't. You can't. Maybe if I go back to the lake. Stop it. I know what you've done, and I forgive you. But you gotta stop. You gotta let go. Right. This whole time. So, uh, what do we do now? Now? Now we kill Odin and anyone who gets in our way. Truth. What? Where? It does not matter. Where are you going? We are done. You can't run away from this, Kratos. Odin won't stop until we stop him. We need you here! Father, where are we going? Oh. Father, can we? I... I want to go hunting. I will follow. We are with you, Atreus. What do we hunt? Here. Which way we headed, lad? In... 
the direction of deer. speak of what happened I think I heard something this way he just needs space here track They're leading that way Atreus violence changes us you are not weak to feel its effects but all feeling its effects. We're heading the right way. There's broken branches over there. Come on. I keep seeing it. The knife, Brock, Sentry's face. Son. There it is. Elbow up. Accuracy over speed. Why? And that was running. And so are we. I don't understand. When an animal is wounded, it must stop the bleeding, or it will die. We have been wounded. And this. This is a distraction. It's my fault. No. No. You should find Sindri. I have a pretty good idea where he might be. Is it okay if we take the sleds? I need to think about what I'm gonna say to him. Of course. Everywhere I look, I'm reminded of my mistakes. Our actions have consequences. To be reminded of them is not punishment. Feels like it. If I had just... Seen through a deception that fooled us all. Stopped an attack you could not predict. There is no if, Atreus. Your father's right. There are things even gods cannot control. It's Mona. It's Becky.
Come. We can take the sled when you're ready. Here's Temple. That's where we're headed. Mimir, is there a chance that we could bring Brock back? Sentry did it once. Maybe we could figure out a way to do it again. I'm afraid not, little brother. When a soul missing its full gear, its direction, like Brock's, leaves its corporeal form, well, it can't reach the Lake of Souls. He's not only dead, he's been denied an afterlife. There's nothing to bring back. It's really gone. Atreus, if there was anything we could do, I promise you, we'd be doing it. I know. It was stupid of me to help in the first place. I miss when the lake was still water. I feel like I want to get on a boat and just sail away from here. From everything. You cannot sail away from your mistakes. It is impossible to forget them. I have tried. Aye. They'll follow you no matter where you go, little brother. If you are to sail, do it toward somewhere. The lift at the end of the bridge should still work. We can get up to the temple that way. Ah! Remember, we're headed to the temple. Yes. What makes you so sure Sindri will be here? It's where he and Brock reunited. Reforging something that broke. He'll be here. Sindri, I... I am so sorry. No. I... No, I don't want to hear it. You don't know what sorry means. We're not letting Odin get away with this. Would that be the Odin you invited into my home? We were all fooled. Oh. But some of us were bigger fools than others, aren't we? I gave you everything. My skills. My friendship. My home. My secrets. My treasures. And you just kept taking. And now what have I got? <laughs> Not even my family. You want sorry? This is what sorry looks like. I... What can we do? We... There is no we. There's only you. No matter what the cost. So what you can do... 
is get the fuck out of my sight. Come on, Chase. Leave for me. More now you wish. His family too. We were. There's no making this right, is there? No. But I know I'll feel better when we brought Odin to justice. Justice? Justice is not what we seek. It is vengeance. Every path I walk leads back to vengeance. Maybe that's all we have left. We must return to Freya. When we get back, we're... We really are going to war. It has come to that. Yes. When we were back in Svartalfheim, looking for Tyr. This isn't what I wanted. This wasn't what I meant. Not if it meant losing Brock. We know, Atreus. We know. We really took everything from Sindri. Don't take to heart what I'm said in grief, Atreus. No matter how spot on they feel. <laughs>
Even sure Freya will still be at the house. Don't see why not. Odin's back door in was also his way out. Without the blasted raven apparently hiding in the broom closet, the house should be secure. And she will not turn away allies in her vengeance. Aye, it's all our vengeance now. And no more fake tear to twist our minds around. Oh, what a mockery he made of Tear's desire for peace and mine. You're back. Are you with us? Hmm. Good. It's time. Time for what, dare I ask? Time to unite the realms against Odin once and for all. Tyr tried to unite the realms. The real Tyr. Everyone loved him. And even he failed. Then we better not fail. Or there will be no one left to try. This is Ragnarok. And Odin's already heard every blasted plan we have. Yes, we've lost the element of surprise. More than that, we have only one way to Asgard, and it's not subtle. Go, Odin. It means we enter from Tyr's temple, here. Asgard's wall is here. Odin's host of Einherjar will hold the space in between. Which means... We need armies of our own. As many as will answer the call. Numbers Odin won't see coming. And that's just to reach the wall. To breach the wall, we'll need to find Surtur. Radatoskar was able to procure this. The three of us will go. I know just where to look. Mm. Splendid. Allies, then. Who do we think we can get? I'll venture to Helheim. Try to recruit the army of the dead. And I'll return to Alfheim to unite the elves. Just like that. Unite the elves after centuries of war. Well, they really like me in all fun. And you? To that I am. Yes. To find Sigrun and muster the free Valkyries. Midgard has no army. Nor Niflheim, nor Jotunheim. That leaves only Svartalfheim. I'll go to Svartalfheim. Sindri? Are you sure? I said I'll go. So be it. Good luck to us all. Off to Muspelheim to find the last fire giant. I almost envy everyone else's impossible mission. You said you know where to look for Surtur. Yeah. 
I unlocked the secrets in the shrine when I was in Muspelheim with Thor. Thor? Don't worry. He didn't see me go in. That was not my worry. Now look, when we find Surtur, we'll have to convince him to combine with his wife, Sinmara. Combine? Yeah. When the two of them, uh, join, they'll create an enormous Asgard-destroying monster. Oh my. I have some doubts regarding negotiations with Rasvelger and Helheim. My thinking is that she may be more amenable to speaking with a member of the, uh, the deceased. Mimir, you're needed. Oh, death is a skill now. I suppose these two can survive a bit without me. Brother, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. Many thanks. We'll catch up with you later. Hey. I think I can see Surtur's forge in the distance. Surtur's wife. Where is she? Niflheim. I think. Heads up! Watching! How about arrows? <laughs> How come? I wonder if they saw their prophecy and decided to isolate themselves in their home realms to fight it. Understandable. Hopefully they'll understand why Ragnarok needs to happen now. Whoa. An Yggdrasil seed to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? there. might be past this lava fall. You know this. A hunch. When I was here before, I got a pretty good feel for the layout. We need to be ready for Surtur, in case he doesn't want to help us. Ready? Prophecy says he and Sinmara join. But who knows how they're gonna feel about it now. You would try to force these primordial beings into submission. Well, I don't know. We can't win this war without them, right? We gotta be close. I can hear the forge. Oh! <laughs> 
Let's find Surtur. That's gotta be him. We will ask. Well, either it isn't him, or he's ignoring us. Come on. Hello. We seek a fire giant. Go away. What just happened? Hey, that wasn't- We deal with these fuck! Oh! <laughs> 
That is Surtur. He's got a lot to answer for. As you said, we need him. I won't help you. Who are you? Who you seek. And what's left of him. Why won't you help us? I don't... want to. Elaborate. We'll die. Right. Because you've got so much to live for. Not me. Her. So what's the point of all this? You keep separate from Sinmara just so you can sit here and wait to die? At least if you joined with her, you'd be together again. We are together. heart. She's got mine. It's not much, but it's enough. But you're not even... Have you ever been in love? It's pretty good. And Odin will succeed. And all realms save Asgard will fall. Yeah, he must die. It's true. But I won't sacrifice her any more than you would him. Sorry. Come. Wait. Those blades. May I see them? Hmm. Yeah, there's primordial fire in those. They are not of these lands. Shouldn't matter. What could? Put those in here. And I'll become your monster. But I don't want her involved at all. But the prophecy says you two have to combine. Sure this will work? What have I got to live for? Not here. Follow me. Where do we go? Spark of the world. Which is? The place where Niflheim and Muspelheim meet where the first realms came into existence. You won't be able to get through this, huh? Whoa. Uh, Surtur? Still me. Better than walking. What awaits us at this spark of the world? Magic. Primordial stuff. With that and your blades and my heart, we'll be good. I'll get big. Smash stuff. You'll like it. But what'll happen when you change? Dunno. Won't be me anymore. But how will you, or, um, future new you, know when to attack Asgard? You got the horn. Right? Yeah. Then we're good. So, here it is. The 
the spark of the world. This is beautiful. I'll meet you across. This feels too easy. Odin knows we have Gal Owen. He knows you have the mask. After killing Brock, he knows we would seek Surtur to start this war. But what other choice do we have? None. He knows that too. This is it. What about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It had hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes loving someone is about choosing the lesser pain. That doesn't make any sense. I promise you'll stay away from her. You have our word. Sorter, is stabbing you with the blades gonna be enough to create this new you? Samara's heart is cold. So beautifully cold. Your dad's now got my fire in those blades. If enough of me and the sparks fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here. think this is going to take? Yeah! <laughs> 
a hand right now. with Gallarhorn when we're ready. Let's head back to Moose Vaughn. We can take the Mystic Gateway back from there. It worked. I, I can't believe it. We've got Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just worked. I mean, the Valkyries were a small setback, but I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. <laughs> Think about it. We're gonna show up to Asgard, and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything. Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win! 
Crow was right. Grow failed to predict what we would sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. strength grows. Hey, check out that cliff. Earthquake must have shook this place up enough to make a ledge. Ah! Oh, that is not More of Odin's forces. Ah! I can finish the job and after he started. Watch out! Watch out! He's trying to grab you! fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Right. place is going to fall apart if those keep happening. Stop attacking anytime soon. We need to get back. You're quiet. I mean, you're always quiet, but this feels different. I had hoped my days of ceaseless battles were over. I had hoped to, to never see my son go to war. Sigil arrows can break through their shield! Be prosperity! Another 
Brother, hey, New York! Man, these guys just don't give up. Ragnarok is here. They know what that means for Asgard. Shows up. The gate is just through this crack in the rocks when you're ready. Father, I know we're doing the right thing. Ragnarok has to happen. The price we and others paid for this war is high. It will only get higher. It will be worth it. How did it go? And yes, my usefulness to a certain Vanium Numpty did run out. Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, father. Is there anything you want to finish up? do you know of the mask? Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. He journeyed across Agia's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. This is it, then. The beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. We're just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite. They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they? Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can? Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack, so there's time. Getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, 
I have failed. Oh. Okay. Ready when you are. Well, the armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hel's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him, but there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh, yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Mimir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim and the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion, a siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just sleep on it. Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more. Except perhaps a dance. Yet though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories, me. <laughs> I can never argue with you.
Can I sleep here tonight? If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening, he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy, and he grew weaker as time went. And one day, he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived, he, He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us, watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? <sighs> Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me.
You are quiet. I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. The funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh. You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. Mm. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes. Not on purpose. <laughs> you prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me. Whenever that day comes, for you and for our son. We will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. Say, do you feel your absence? No. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. To grieve deeply is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir.
hope to fly into battle with you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. Thanks for grabbing that for us. Time to cleave some hands. Now those are some angry knives. Spear look like a toothpick. Let's make some magic. Thank you, Lunda. Ah, uh, yeah, big softy. You can thank me after, uh, if uh, if we all come through the other end. I will. Woo hoo! Looking good. It fits. Go show it all. And a little one. And a little one. Thanks for this. Mm, know what you want? And a little one. Good luck out there, General. I believe in you. General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. Prophecy did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered. Enough! No matter the cost. This ends... today. If going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too, might as well be. A big, fat smile on my face.
for Brock. goes after Niflheim next. They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. We gotta stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. Got work to do. You three, follow. Atreus. Freya, with me. Watch our flanks. To the war machines. This way! Push forward! The Alpha! People on tower's not looking so good. On your right! Keep moving! There's still time. We have to... No! What's our next plan, brother? We have no other plan. Our focus remains on the war machines. We should head for the flaw behind the Asgard Tower. Without Ragnarok, it's our only chance to break through the wall. Peter's flaw? You said only Saturn knew how to use it. Let's say I was wrong. Enemy behind you. Behind your brother! The Alpha! The War Machines! We use them to breach the floor! Strike the city with our allies. Sounds desperate. Good. Desperation is our advantage. Would have preferred a realm destroying fire giants, but I suppose desperation is better than nothing.
Was that? It was. Odin's new Valkyrie queen is Gnar. I would think so. Then we must hurry. Another pass! Giant Giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind, later. The Ain Herjars link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Hmm. Rally all you can. We will make for this fall of Huntawa. Please. 
friend. She She'll be fine. We got more important things to worry about. Even if we can breach the wall. Perhaps it is better this way. Better for who? I'm late. Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this. Zin, we Save it. Odin forced them to build those war machines. And I'm here to tear them down. Before you break up, we must turn them on the wall. Fine. We leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giant. On your right, my god. what you wanted I, I didn't want this no close your heart to it close your heart who are they my guardians Odin took them in they shouldn't be here they're not soldiers Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice... ...everything. What are you doing? Size of that thing? I think we're gonna win. I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we. We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Hrimthor's flaw. With what army? Petraeus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice, not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three, get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Frey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. It was not mindless before. 
see if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Fuck you! No! Protect him! I will help those that are trapped and meet you at the fall. Go! Go, Atreus! Sentry! Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I'm here to fight. <laughs> Can I just say? No, you can't. Shut up and fight. Got him. How come? me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies. Dude, you're okay. My mom was right about you all along. You're a killer just like your father, and you're here to kill us all. No, just Odin. <laughs> Sindri, go! She's a friend. Friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep, Loki! You're right. You're right. I, I, I made some bad decisions. You do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. Is Skjolder okay? Have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us, knowing they can't fight. Their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem with one of him. The Guardians. Your friend. Our family, any of us. I had hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it... It has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. 
but not for him. Do you understand? But our family... Without Odin, we can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. <laughs> he said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. He said we owed him. <sighs> you don't owe him your death. <laughs> no shit. Dad will never let them get their grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Finally. is incomplete. It cannot fulfill its purpose. Oh, my God. 
Great launch. That's where we gotta go. Yeah. I didn't want to listen. That may not be our biggest problem right now. Roman Gander! Get back to your sister. You must hold back Ragnarok. This fight is mine. But if I could just take Atreus in the mask and do not look back. My son trusts you, so I trust you. Stay away from her! Dad, wait! I am done with you and your son! No more fucking games! And this time, I'm allowed to kill you. We do not need to do this! We do! It's what we are! I take you! Can you? Thor, the last seems to think you've changed! Prove it and stop it! Talking's over! Wait and die! You can choose to- You all die. Go and think for yourself for once. Your family's full of Enough! Don't act like you know. Attack my daughter! No! I did not- You bring this to my home! To my family! Oh! Yeah. 
Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk. You don't think. I think you kill. It's a simple fucking concept. Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill. I didn't want this. I did not want this. No! Rude. This was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. Looks like I gotta do everything around here. Your own son? You granddaughter! Why? Rude. 
gonna be fine. I say, Thor, that one's on you. You turn them against me. You turn them all against me. this everything you hoped for? Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. Oh. Oh. Not quite yet. <laughs> Think you're the only one who can craft a binding spell? I spent many long winters thinking about what I would say to you as I watched you take your last breath. But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore! And that's my friend. I forgot how good you look with wings. Oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. Bow to your queen. I always loved you. You know. You've never loved anyone! Real time! Father? Freya?
You did it, Loki. No, 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 no more fighting. No, none of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Groa tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on the mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation. Unfold the secrets of life and death. No more doubt, no more confusion. You were born for this. Put on the mask, Loki. Ask it. Ask it the question. This is your choice, son. I trust you. to be nothing! No! So be it. Attack! You've waited a long time for this, haven't you, Frick? So have I! Too late for that! Fly! Oh. Three against one, and don't forget me, old fucker. What did you call me? That one's for bro. Your shield 
brother. Use it, yeah? was our chance, Loki. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms. Or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. It wasn't my choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can't. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. Why'd you have to say that? Sofna, Apfra, Desu, Sofna. Hithan. Sofna. 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 I swore I would never rob from you the choice between life and death. I have waited so long for this moment. And now that I'm here, I don't need this to make me whole. We stopped his madness. That's all that matters. Ragnarok. He's here. path 
path is your own. Follow it, and you'll end up right where you're supposed to be. Huh? There he is. Wake up, Atreus. Wake up. Glad you've come back to us. Uh, hi. Where, where is my father? Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. Thanks, Hair. Mom, stop it. I'm fine. Hush. It's rude. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea, and I'm sorry. Thor, he was, he tried, you know? I'm sorry I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort in knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki. It was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit? Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim. To help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and Thrude. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. Huh, Lugan made it out. Good for him. <laughs> oh, and if you could get this wood over to Bronis tent, she... Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just... I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just happy to help folks. We're on track to have bedrolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I... I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki, you did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey, you know me. Has anyone seen any extra blankets lying around? That snow might be melting, but it's still gonna be pretty cold in this place. Oh, there he is. And one for the kid, too. Skull! Hear, hear. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And Freyr's sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freyr fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh, when we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man. But the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true. And incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are about to start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you. I'm pleased to see you awake. 
Freya. It was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior, but even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen. I want to thank you. Oh. What else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me. Mentored me. And, well, you're basically another dad to me. What? No. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Huh. I love you too, little brother. See you, Mimir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Hildas Vini. I'll surprise you. Oh? You already have. saving us. I decided it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions. I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I... I just... don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. This is for you, too. Atreus, I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are, too. So, what was the end of the story? Before Ragnarok, you promised to finish it if I fell asleep. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He wished to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. Seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Einherjar near them, but 
That's not what I brought you here to see. Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people. To protect you. It don't all open. I'm sorry. Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there, and I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but they're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survived today because of your choices. Who to trust. Who to call friend. Son. Remember our promise. Loki will go. Atreus. Take care of everything.
you see in there, brother? We should probably talk about Gana. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. A Vanir goddess, your friend. Gana pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos, she hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find her than she Another finds us. Another one for the big boy himself. Skull. Skull. Dozen per cap. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although there won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. Where to first? We could take care of any lingering business in the realms. Or investigate those pieces of Asgard. Either way, we are with you, brother. Lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's tavern in Svartalfine. I'd like to go. <laughs> Mercy. 
Lamir, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Hildesfini told me about your visit to secure Hell's army, but was reluctant to elaborate when it came to negotiating with Krasfelder. Ah, yes. Well, I can see why he'd hold off on such a subject until he saw if we survived the battle. Lamir, what exactly did you promise the large bird? Oh, nothing too horrifying. Hold. We will finish later. What is it? Mementos. From Atreus's journey. What will you do with it? Add it to our own. His story is ours, and ours is his. Too right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> 